<laughs> Welcome. Uh, Welcome, everybody. Oh, we should be doing this whole stream from like a bizarre gantry walkway plasma reactor thing. Ooh. Get that going on. Well, Make it we'll, so. we'll be on the, the real screen soon. Um, how are you doing? I'm leaving. I'm pretty good. See ya. God, that reminds me, actually. I read the, um, I read the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Yeah. Years ago. Okay. It's not a story a Jedi would tell you. No. It doesn't. It's not even canon anymore. What? Because it. I think it was before Disney. Um, Wait, but no, it was in a movie, text. so they all stayed correct, right? Uh, oh, but you mean the book, the not, actual novel? You know. Um. Or Sheev. Not, not Sheev. Just you know, chatting over that fucking orchestra. Yeah. Rude. So rude. Well, it's different etiquette. You know, it was a long time ago. That's true. You know, times change. Mm, part of the art is to talk over mm, it. It's uh, interactive. <laughs> yeah, it's like our stream. Right, yeah. You, know, you can do other things while you're watching this. No, no talking. <laughs> Eyes front. <laughs> Pay attention, there will be a test. Oh my God, like how many viewers do you think we'd instantly just lose <laughs> if you couldn't just have this on in the background? <laughs> like 70%. At least. <laughs> Surely no one is actually just watching watching mm. this. Most people are, you know, have it on just by accident. <laughs> oh, Kurashishi says you are third monitor material. Third monitor. <laughs> God, we don't even get second anymore. Oh my God, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was happy with second. Yeah, second is fine. But third <laughs> yeah. monitor. Oof. Wow. Feels bad, man. I have this on in the foreground because I'm a brain dead idiot. Okay, well, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Would you rather be on someone's third monitor or on their Apple Watch? Oh. See, Apple Watch, I think, is better because you might be walking somewhere. <laughs> like, what kind of fucking psychopath is like, oh, I just, uh, I just bought the new Avengers movie? <laughs> The way Martin Scorsese intended. <laughs> wow, I love this. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm pretty sure one of those guys is Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, that red pixel. <laughs> Holy shit. God, that is bonkers. I do kind of love it, mm. though. I've, I've never tried a, a smart of... watch. No, I don't, I don't wear a regular watch. No. I have a phone. Yeah. I don't need a second smaller phone <laughs> yeah. strapped to my arm. I don't really get it. Fair like enough. some people, you might enjoy it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I can barely see my phone. Actually, I'm getting old. My my peepers, they don't peep like they used to. Um, yeah. You need some of these. Well, I do now. Now when I'm reading like little little words or painting, I gotta wear my my painting goggles. Oh God, what a nerd! <laughs> I know, right? What a fucking nerd! <laughs> um, you know what I bought actually the other day? I'm just I, hope, gonna, I hope a pair of glasses. I'm gonna out myself as the biggest nerd in the world. Oh, do you get one of those lights? Um, the the mag magnifying glass. I'll lights. show you. Um, <laughs> uh, <gasps> da -da wow! I bought like one of these fucking things. Not Holy this exact shit. one, but something like that. Something like. No, it was, it's that one. And you know, so I'm like the, the nerdy dad in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids now. Right? Okay. When I'm sat painting on a Sunday afternoon and someone's like, hey, and I look up and I blind them with my little like, lamp. What? <laughs> what? Oh my God, it's got a full Rick Moranis on them. Yeah. Okay. It's got like six different magnifier goggles. Wow. Holy so I look shit. like the biggest fucking dork in the universe oh now when god I'm okay so yeah um but i, I fucking needs it now <laughs> my little peepers they need the help oh geez god when the boy is a little bit older mm. you know he's gonna be like teen years and comes around with some of his friends they're off to go and see the football or fuck knows <laughs> yeah. we'll be into hoverball <laughs> yeah of course and they come in, and they're like, oh, don't mind my dad. He, yeah, he just does this stuff. And you're there like, hello, can I interest <laughs> you in my Warhammer? I've got my special goggles on. We're on 20th edition. <laughs> oh, my it's God. It's not quite as good as 16th edition. <laughs> oh, I love 16th edition. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah, three years in the future. Wow, when you 
playing Age of Kragnall. <laughs> yeah. Cannot wait. You know, it's the way the game was meant to be played. Gather round, children. Let me tell you the tale of Kremla. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, just I bet all the all the rowdy kids are gonna love that. Mm. I know I would. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's that's me. That's what I do now. Very nice. I can't believe I just admitted to it on camera. I think it's fine. You know, this is this is a safe space for nerds. Unless you haven't painted your base, or you say we something that we disagree with. Yeah, or you're into something we don't understand. Yeah, yeah. At <laughs> which point you will be ridiculed openly. <laughs> But other than that, it's really safe safe space. Otherwise, totally fine, totally mm. chill, unless you're into the wrong nerd. Wrong nerd. Or yeah. you'd like our nerd in the wrong way. Yeah. It's a it's a very like thin overlap of a Venn diagram. It's a tightrope you gotta walk. Ooh. Um but I recommend it. So narrow. So narrow. Uh, Here we go. Uh, Got some Pikachus. Pikachu. I did some Warhammers over no the way. weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the heck? Look at this. That's a Warhammer. I did a combat patrol against That's my friend's sisters, and um, pretty fun and pretty quick. We had we had a good time. Yeah, I want to try try some combat patrol. I think it sounds fun. It was easy to remember. Just had a couple of sheets to like look at. Good way to learn new rules. Shame on those unpainted models, though. I know he's only just got them. Yeah, he's already done one squad in like a couple of weeks, so he's doing all right. Yeah. Um, so I used my, my Dark Angels as if they were Black Templars, because um, I had to see any one that fits. And um, I ended up wiping him out, but he still won the game. Which is cool. He won by I, one point. I, I like that. Mm, me too. When killing isn't the only objective, when there's actually actually some game. Yeah, because so, I managed to run up and like murderize him. But then he brought down his Seraphim into Deep Strike and stole all the objectives that I'd like secured. Ah, what a jerk. God, you uh, hate that. Yeah, those damn pesky angels. Because they get to do a cheeky thing. They can um, obviously Deep Strike, but they get to move after they've shot. So they can move. 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 Yeah, they can move 12, shoot you with pistols, and then move another six. So they wow. can move around that board real oh, God, quick. Real, real fast. Just decapping everything. Wow, wow, wow. It's pretty fun. Um, I painted some, some Chaos Boys. They're looking very pretty. Had a busy Warhammer weekend. Yeah, that's a lot of paint. They are very, um, very detailed. They took way longer than I wanted them to. And they're not as good as I wanted them to look. But they are done. I think they're very, very, very nice. Which I am happy with. Um, got some tentacle boys. Uh, got some of these guys. If they're real messy. Don't zoom in. Why am I zooming in? And then lastly, the big... The big chunguses. They came out pretty good, actually. Yeah, I like the big chunguses. Those guys are great. They're really good for contrast painting. Oh yeah, like lots of lots of detail to yeah. really, like. It only got annoying when I had to on the back. They've got loads of like chains and buckles and stuff. Yeah, fuck. Didn't quite contrast that. But yeah, I think they look pretty cool. Mold line on the tentacle. <gasps> Non-drilled gun barrel. Oh my god. I actually I used to drill all my barrels, and I've just one day I just woke up and went, life's too short. I got over it. I didn't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I'm not. I'm not doing it anymore. I think it's because I had like a, like a ten percent failure rate. Oh, uh, well, like because a badly drilled gun barrel is worse than an undrilled barrel. Exactly, and I think I just did like ten, and out of those ten, like um, two of them or one of them was either slightly off center or it slipped completely oh, and cut off the whole like tore edge of it. the sides and you're like oh, it looks like fuck. shit so um so now I'm going to put a little blob of black on the middle and leave it at that sure I mean, super easy uh what else have I done I did I built a little, little dark angel sergeant I found someone who sells these really nice 3d printed tilting shields love it so they look great busy busy weekend and then we did another Combat patrol with my Typhus and his stinky boys. Stinky boys. Fighting against the same sisters. And um, this was a fun. We had a nice, nice little narrative here. Typhus had turned up and turned the whole congregation into zombies. Oh. The sisters had to break through and purge and like burn down the cathedral that was full of stink. Oh. Um, it was a really nice board at my local game. Yeah, the board looks great. That's like, for how kind of like simple it is, is like really, really effective. Mm. Really, really like it. No, those are my friend Chris's sisters. They're looking, looking nice. Very pretty. Um, oh, that's all I've got. But the um, this came down to like, we just wiped each other out so hard. Mm -hmm. um, 
Typhus was basically the, all that was left. And he just had his cannoness in her sister's squad. Everything else was dead. And he's just like, ha, ha, ha. My man reaper will make short work of you and charged across the board, ready to just reap hard. The sisters overwatch him. And um, turns out the sister's pretty good on overwatch because Cannoness gives them re-rolls. Mm. Six to hit, roll again. Took off four of his six wounds. Oh my god. With the overwatch. <laughs> he runs in, wounds eight of them with his man reaper. Jeez. He makes seven invulnerable saves. <laughs> At which point the Cannoness is just like, I am no man. And <laughs> the last fucking two gives him, him the, uh, the classic, uh, I am no man. Yeah, he just gets fucking witch kinged. Holy moly's. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying quick, thematic, fun little games. Mm. I might get bored of them soon enough, but I've got like three different combat patrols, so I think I can mix and match them up. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, you know, suddenly if you kind of like dip between them, it seems like a lot of a lot of fun. Yeah, I want to play play some of this. Hmm. Yeah, it's been it's been good. That's it. That's all my Warhammies for one day. Very, very nice. Mm. Uh, what other news do we have in the world of? Uh, what is new in Warhammer? We've got some new free guild gunsmen's. Who actually, I kind of like these guys. I'm into it. A big shield with a gun. Yeah, and know. a little like clearly you can like lift it up and move it. It's not like built into the ground. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And one of them's got like a repeaty gun. Yeah, like the triple gun. I guess they got the bayonet because it's not like you're throwing your aim off. Yeah, so you can do a little a little poker poker. You can make like a shield wall, make it hard to for like Cav to charge in. Just bring your own earthworks with you. Yeah. Plus, I do kind of like that old kind of arquebus style of like light the fuse and aim it. Yeah, and like hold the stick like, and just hope. Yeah, it's like a it mini good. cannon. Yeah, like really really cool. Like I remember one of those old samurai films. I had one of the Kurosawa movies, like the daimyo gets sniped because one peasant boy is like, um, finds out where he goes to like have his lunch or have a little meditate every day. And he like has this gun like lined up perfectly and he uses like a bag of sand to like make sure it's aimed exactly right because of where it swings determines. Like he waited for the daimyo to leave and then he shoots, 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 shoots until he finds the exact spot where it's going to hit him. Oh, fuck. And then like has a bag of string with some sand to mark this is, is the that? exact that position. That Ran. Uh, Ran, that was it, yeah. And then the next day when the, the Demio comes back, he's just like, boom, sniper with the with the gun on a stick. Just fucking, fucking got it. It's a classic. Uh, but yeah, I think these guys are pretty, pretty rad. Yeah, I like them. I think I prefer the ones without the helmets. I, st I like those helmets. I mean, I'm into these guys. I quite like the uh, new cities of Sigma mm. peoples. I like that. The banner's cool too. Banner's very pretty. Yeah, they're cool. Uh, oh, I like it with the uh, pale orange. That's nice. Also, the two pistols with little pistol stands. <laughs> 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 okay, that seems a bit over the top. Uh, sure. It's fun. But yeah, it's just a cool, cool-looking unit. Big mm. shield, very nice. Oh, look at this guy! You've got to carry all the stuffs. Yes, this ability at the start of the third uh, battle round, mm. you can say that you went for supplies, and you get to reroll hits with this unit. Why oh. don't you do a supply at the beginning. Well, I wonder if they have a rule where on the first turn they get it. Their first. First volley is the uh, extra black powder. Yeah, probably. I, you know, I didn't read read the rest of it. Uh, uh, but having a little goon fun. that runs around and gets you uh, gets you some powder. Yeah, it'd be nice if there's, you could like intercept him and stop them getting it. Ooh, be yeah. Fun. I bet I bet you can't, but that would be fun. But it's a fun fun idea. Mm. I like it. Nice. What else? I uh, got some new pictures of new epics. Which I'm still excited about. I like these boards. Hmm. I think they're going to release those. Wow. Epic city fight boards. That's pretty rad. Hmm. God, I can't. I can't make another fucking epic army though. But you, but they're so small. Oh, then. They are so small. They're really fucking cool. Although it just goes to show how bad black is as an epic scale. 
color. Oh God, yeah. Because like, are these dark angels? Are they iron warriors? Or are the, are the I mean, the iron hands? Or are they Raven Guard? Literally, cannot fucking tell in Games Workshop's own promotional photo which chapter these come from. Yeah. Um. So I think if I did do it, it would have to be like Imperial Fists. Imperial Fists, classic. Or um. Hmm. Who knows? No one in chat knows either. It's like hands all Raven Guard. But it could be Dark Angels as well, couldn't it? Yeah. There's no fucking way of knowing. Literally uh, no way of knowing. I feel like the you know Imperial Fist is a great a great shout. Mm. Uh just something that pops. You know, yeah. you want a bit of colour that pops. Early world eaters would be good. Yeah, I like the early world eaters White kind of and look. Blue. Death Guard would be pretty easy as well. Just like I really like the color white. scheme there. Actually, mm. it's pretty pretty nice. Mm. Could be Alpha Legion, sure. <laughs> they could be Alpha Legion. You can't go wrong with Blood Angels. It's true. That's true. It works. Most of them work. It's really just the the darker ones that don't look so good. I don't think Alpha Legion would work very well on epic scale. No. Mm. But yeah. Anyway, Tiny Toys. To Tiny Toys is best toys. Uh, so what happened on Mud World? Oh, um, so everyone who bought the Leviathan box got a special one-time use code, which they could like fight a battle and then record the results. Mm -hmm. So there's no way for the general public to cheese the results and let uh, the orcs win. Okay, sure. Um, and they're going to reveal it on Saturday. Ooh. Mad world. Wait a second. Uh, preview for all the new miniatures. Yeah, so whichever side won, Space Marines or Tyranids, they're going to get their previewed miniatures first. Okay. But obviously both of them are coming out in the next couple of months. Anyway. Right, okay, sure. I don't think they would hinge their like logistic supply chain. Yeah, on, on <laughs> something like that. Yeah. You'd just lie, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you'd have to lie. Like, considering how stretched their factory is already, and everything's out of stock all the time, you wouldn't want to just go. Mm, which one do we need okay. more of? <laughs> uh, so, who do you think won? Well, I was gonna. I assumed Space Marines were gonna win, because they always win. Um, but apparently, Tyranids are winning. Yeah. Apparently, they did they they did some results a couple of weeks ago where the space well, marines were fifty one percent. Yeah, I saw that, and then it was like the Tyranids are now fifty three or fifty four percent. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like space marines have more points in the box, but I don't know if people are literally fighting with what's in the box, or if they're doing proper points games, or they're doing combat patrol. I mean, you, anything goes really. Yeah, I feel like there's probably enough anti space marine sentiment for people to just. But not play a game, vote Tyranid, just for funsies. Yeah, just to see what happens. Um, but ultimately, I've never fucking heard of Ogrim. No, oh, Mudbub. And then, I don't think it matters. Oh, it's going to be very important. Yeah, it's going to change the law. Even bigger than Psychic Awakening. It will be as big as Psychic <laughs> Awakening, at least. And that was supposed to be bigger than the Horus Heresy. Yeah. Do you remember when they really hyped the shit out of Psychic and Awakening? Then nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, what people are like, uh, Kadia stands, you know, everyone remembers that. Um, oh, the Siege of Terror, mm. really big. Um, oh my god, Armageddon 1, 2, or 3. Mm. The battle for Ogrim is going to be way up there. Up there with all the classics. All the classics. Everyone's going to remember Ogrim. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Mm. Mud World. Mud World stands. Like, I don't even know what it is. Oh, you kind of sink, don't you, right? <laughs> Just tell me something. Like, maybe have a chapter of Space Marines. That's their home world. Or make it, like, this is where they make the, the, the cool tank. It's a hive or, world. Or, yeah, this is where... But also a desolate planet. And there's pollution and technology. <laughs> Say, like, you know, a special Imperial Guard character is from there. Or give me something to 
put this into context. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise it's just one of literally a billion planets in the yeah. Imperium. Yeah. And right now, this drink is more important to me than Ogrom. Wow. <laughs> it's Mud World, what more do you need? I made up the thing that it's Mud World. <laughs> Without that, it's got nothing. Mud World is very important. We've literally doubled its rich lore. Oh, well. uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, we got Lion Gel Johnson is back. Nice. And so's um, that guy and um, Samurai Man. Snickerop and, and um, Samurai They Man. have all sold out um, again. Really? Even Snickrot? Even Snickrot? Yeah, I think so. Wow. They did a queuing system, but um, it didn't last long. Yeah. Even Snickrot, who's just worse than the old one. People are hot for him. I think it's the, the FOMO. Oh, uh, okay. Or they just didn't make many. I don't know. I think it is. I feel like this. Put on your tinfoil hat. But okay. I, in two weeks' time, maybe a month's time, they'll be back on sale again. Mm -hmm. And they've got a fucking shitload of these in the warehouse. I yeah, think they just like keeping people hot. Yeah, because you they want every single time they put something up to sell out, right? That always looks good and mm. always makes people like, oh, I have to buy it. I have to buy it because otherwise I'll never get it. And so you can then just keep people like doing just the drip, panic buy. Drip feed it out forever. God, I, there's only so long people will put up with that. I feel like people will put on up with it. For quite a long time. <laughs> uh, Maybe. You were going down the artificial scarcity route. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like loads and loads of companies do it. Yeah, it's really common. Uh, I, I feel like... Um, it does work. I don't know. Maybe it's just they, they don't want to risk overproducing. So they do small batches. So that they never end up with a warehouse full of Zangors they can't get rid of. Yeah. And I guess, like, you know... You're probably more likely to accidentally overproduce with characters. Yes. Although, fuck it, like, you know, if you have massively overproduced, you're like, oh my god, fuck me. We've got 10 million Iron Hand Strakens in the warehouse. What the fuck happened? Like, why did you order 10 million? <laughs> yeah. Next edition, He's just the make him real fucking good. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's true. And then, uh, you know, everyone suddenly wants him. Problem solved. Oh, look at this. Ben Spot Minion has looked up the lore of Ogrim for us. Right. Um, Ogrim is an imperial world yep. that has been invaded by Hive Fleet Leviathan during the Fourth Tyrannic War. Is th so That's is all the lore. Is this, this is the Fourth Tyrannic War, right? Yes. <laughs> so the only thing you know about Ogrim is the only thing there is to know about Ogrim. Wow. <laughs> They don't have anything else. Like, there's a cool shrine there. <laughs> yeah. If that falls really bad. Uh, oh, the Eldar. They're keeping an eye on it because yeah. there's some fucking old gate into the yeah. webway. There's an ancient Eldar burial ground there that makes spooky ghosts. Uh, well. There's rumors of some fucking explorer found weird underground pyramids. Uh, but yeah. when they sent the team down there, it disappeared. Literally anything would be uh, better. <laughs> Sniz Snaz, the orc war boss who lives in the Badlands there. He's like an up-and-comer. Like, God, like, throw a bit more. Yeah. There's an ancient pylon there that resists warp energies. Mm. And it might be important. Or the warp storms will get worse. There was a, a, a fucking chaos uprising over there like 500 years ago, brutally stamped out by the Inquisition. But there's rumors it's still going on. Like, you know, give me a bit of... Give me fucking something. A bit of fluff. Wow. Wow. Yeah. The Inquisition hides all of its confiscated, chaotic, tainted artifacts in a vault on Ogrim. Nice. And no one like knows that. that it's there. Yeah, and Maybe yeah, if yeah. the Tyranids eat it all, they'll get corrupted and turn even more eviler. I'm in. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd um, take a second to say uh, I they'd sold out of the lion. And I managed to pick one up at my local game store. They got sent two. Nice. And I got one of the two. That's I'm very good. Just showing off now. I got myself a lion. Wow, just flex. <laughs> flex. 
You didn't get him the first time. So suck it. Mm. Um, some more information about Epic. Uh, is there anything interesting in here? Not really. I think this is all stuff that we... Oh, there's some new terrain coming. Little pipes. Little pipes. Yeah. Who doesn't love some little pipes? Okay. Uh, and that's it for now. I'm Should sure I split it. the box with a friend or keep it all for myself? Mm, only you can answer that. God, it'd be kind of tempting to just go all guard, wouldn't it? Just because you know every other fucker's going Space Marines. Yeah. Hopefully they do some other bits and pieces like... Um, I don't know, like Custodies or Mechanicus stuff. Yeah, I'd love it if they would bring in a few more a few more guys. I'd be surprised if they did Mechanicus. I feel like you could do a, a single custody sprue. Yeah, just sisters, boys, jet really bikes and tanks easy. all in one sprue. Well, maybe you could do Mechanicus in the same way, actually. But like with Custodies, you don't need tanks, really. You have a sprue that has like... Some dreadnoughts. Mm. Well, they do some have hands and some bikes, but you, you don't have to have have to. Mm. And then you let Fortwell make those and sell them oh, for yeah. fucking. Well, they already do the mega dropship, don't they? That'd be a good way to sell those dropships. Oh yeah, like a sprue of custodians. Damn, smart, very smart. Mm. Cool. Uh, they do a new new warhound bits. I don't like that warhound. No, it's like a weird long-range siege warhound. I like it's like clamp feet. Clamps. So it can fire its massive gun without falling over. Let's give them clamps. That's kind of fun. And I like these new bases. Mm. They're pretty cool. But yeah, it feels weird for the, the light scout titan to be like over encumbered. Yeah. Yeah, it just feels weird. Like why? Well, more. More variants on the same sprue. That's why. <laughs> sure. It's cheaper that way. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Oh, they changed some rules to stop Eldar being just the fucking best already. This is a quick response. They've now made it so that Eldar can only swap, do one fake dice a turn. Well, I think there are ways they can do more, right? Yeah. But before they could just go, oh, I've got 12 fate dice. Well, I'm going to use eight of them on my first turn. Yeah, in like, this one big mega assault, blammo, mm. I am the best. Yeah. Uh. And they made it so that everything that's big and can see over stuff um, is like 50, 60 points more expensive. Yeah, although some, uh, some things that were kind of shit also got busted. Yeah, like uh, the Stomper was just a big pile of crap, and now it's even more of a big pile of crap. And the, what's he called? The fucking, the Lord of Skulls, the big corn. Oh, guy. yeah. Apparently that was terrible. And, and then it just got bumped up. It's like, his gun was shit. It was meant to be a combat guy. Uh, yeah. And so it be, if having the towering ability was not good at all mm. and then that just went up in points and so it's Sad. just like it just gets some why flat. me like, what the fuck no one was taking me <laughs> why am i getting the nerf what the hell that sucks oh um oh yeah these guys went up in points too because apparently they were the best yeah uh heard those were absolutely broken um but i'm impressed i'm impressed with the speed because it feels like the game's only just come out and they've already like fix the most extremely broken stuff, which is great. Mm. You know, I am. We shit on them a lot mm -hmm. for basically everything, but I like this level of reactiveness. Yes, yeah, definitely. I think it's, they made like a thousand units in like six months, mm. so they, there's gonna be some mistakes, some whoopsies. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Like that's definitely, definitely true. Oh, we did say this last week. Oh. Whoops. Well, take it all back then. Um, and then lastly, I saw these screenshots for like this Lucius the Eternal that kind of had me intrigued. I haven't watched it because I'm not on Warhammer Plus. But it did get me thinking about old Lucius. Like the peerless duelist. Yeah. He's the best. The best duelist what there never was. Well, not the best. But because his thing is that if you beat him, you, he becomes you. Mm -hmm. 
it means he basically ends up losing every duel he's ever been in because that's his thing. When you write a story about him, you want him to do his thing. Well, you, you, or you talk about in like a story, like he just won 5,000 duels in a row because he's the best, but this one duel in this story, he <laughs> yeah. is going to lose. Uh, yeah. I was just kind of surprised they went for him in the in the thing. Because you will know what's going to happen here, right? He is going to die to the executioner dude and then become him? I guess. I mean, that's his whole deal, right? I'm kind of tempted to watch that. Lucius the Eternal is. He's like a fun character in the lore, but yeah. you can't. You can't look too hard at him. No. You, I don't think you really want to make him the main character of anything. You want him no. in the background being a goofball while you tell a normal story. <laughs> and yeah. he happens to be involved somehow. Because there's, there's a lot of problems with his power. Yeah. Is he just one day going to run into like a super depressed guy who feels no joy or accomplishment from anything? No. And that's the end. That, I don't think even that is enough. Because isn't there a thing where... And he was killed by a Necron and turned into the Necron. It's like, well, they're fucking soulless oh. robots, but that... Oh, so there's no pride and sense of accomplishment. It's all just... But it's just automatic now, is it? Something along those lines. Um, and the thing where he stepped on the mine and then turned into the guy in the munitions factory. Yeah, I like that, how stupid that one was. Th but that one suddenly opens up <laughs> huge problems. Because yeah. there could be, what if you have someone, I'm a, I'm a, you know, the Emperor's champion, mm -hmm. right? Um, and me killing this Chaos guy, it, I don't, I don't take as much pride in it. It's like a burden. Oh, oh this is my, yeah, my duty. But the guy who made that sword, mm. they like, I am the fucking best at making swords. I love that yeah. my swords he's, kill people. He's literally a master craftsman. Yeah. Right. And. They love their work. <laughs> who should get... Who does mm. Lucius turn into then? Emperor's oh. Champion or Sword Guy? Because the if I if you shoot him, mm. then it, it's me that does it. So should lead the guy who planted the mine mm. should have turned into Lucius, well, maybe, not the guy that made them. I think it's like the line of succession when a king dies, right? Okay, you track so it. You go to the nearest logical thing, and then if they didn't feel enough joy... You go to the next one okay, until you find someone who has enough pride to be possessed. Right. Okay. But I feel like you need like a spreadsheet on that. <laughs> oh. Is Slanesh just sat there like with a massive flowchart? So much of Slanesh's time is spent working out <laughs> yeah. how Lucius, who they are going to possess. Feels like it should be a Zinch thing at this point. It's so convoluted. Oh my God. Maybe it is. Maybe it all was a plan. Ooh. Of Zinch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what happened if the resurrected emperor kills him? Ooh. Yeah. What happens if a Nid eats him? I think the whole hive fleet queen monster turns into Lucius, a giant planet sized Lucius. That sounds ace. <laughs> yeah. But then what happens if he just suffocates in space? Mm. Does he turn into space? I think whoever pu pushed him into space. Right. What if he f just fucking screws up and slips on a banana peel or something like that? Like something, no one's fault. It's his own fault, you know? Mm -hmm. Like he pushes a button and accidentally gets sucked out of an airlock. Or he, you know... Well, who built that button? Mm. Then they would be in trouble. What if there's like an avalanche? Uh-huh. And he doesn't get out of the way in time and gets well, flattened by rocks. Well, should someone have put a warning sign? <laughs> I love not telling anyone to be careful of avalanche. Like, who gave them the <laughs> briefing on their ship before they went down and didn't warn them about avalanche, <laughs> but they took pride in their work, and through their work they had killed him. Boom, they turn into Lucius. Okay. Does it work for animals, too? Yeah. So if he gets cool. eaten by a crocodilo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then... Crocodile the Eternal. Turns into, uh, well, they'll s turn back into him, right? Yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the best, worst thing. It, yeah. It's a fun thing when you're like, oh, sure, yeah, it's the guy he turns into the people that he duels. <laughs> yeah. And don't make him very big or important and just have him off doing his thing. Because uh, mm. otherwise, you get big problems. 
Yeah, struck by lightning. That's a good one. Yeah, it becomes the weatherman. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> right. So it's just, it's like a lightning strike that searches for the path of least resistance to coming back to life. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. it just like looses his energy, spreads out mm -hmm. <laughs> until it finds some loose tangent connection and then it scoops it all up into that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Well, you know, you could have just like a demon, uh, you know, some mm. some wacky uh, demonette who just goes to Celeste and they're like, oh, you know, Celeste, uh, fucking Lucis died again. And they're like, oh, how did it happen? And he's like, yeah, he fell on a banana peel. Or they got struck by lightning. <laughs> yeah. And like, we've managed to answer all of these questions so quickly. And so Celeste is like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, he becomes the weatherman. Great. Does that make sense? And everyone's like, okay. Okay, I mean, you make the rules here. Right. Right? <laughs> and we're like, sweet. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting back to, uh, you know. Drug the, orgy. The drug orgy. Um, see you later. <laughs> Perfect. If Grot kills him, will he become tiny Lucius? For a little bit, and then he'll turn into a big... And then he'll eventually, he goes back to his full size. But I guess there's an in-between stage, you know, where his, like, face starts coming out of the other guy's face. Oh, yeah. Where he is, a like, a little half Grot, half Lucius man for Which a bit. Which sounds amazing. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing that's what this is, right? He's in the mirror after the battle going, Oh, I don't feel so good. Yeah. There's a man inside me, but in a bad way this time. Oh, God. What if he dies of, like, a cold? Will he be, like, a jerk? <laughs> and then be slowly... The last person who sneezed near him or touched the door handle. Right, you're but... right, actually. That makes sense. Do you think he keeps, like, an entourage of cultists around him at all times? Who they can just be blamed. So there's always someone nearby for him to, like, have a vague connection to. Oh, yeah. After the mine got him. <laughs> yeah. And he woke up on an imperial world, which must have been a nightmare to get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Just chain dying through, like, through that place. Uh, God, yeah, it must have taken months of getting, like, swarmed by Arbites and maybe an Inquisitor turns up. Yeah. I bet you'd want the Inquisitor to turn up because he might get off world. Oh, yeah, you just need to get killed by someone who will get off world as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully they will go, you know, more like Outer Rim, yeah. not instantly go back to Terra and you're like, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> just getting spawned kept by custodians <laughs> yeah. for 10,000 years. <laughs> uh, yeah, not, not the dream. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Oh. Do we have any other um, any other hot news? Um, I, th gash? I think that might be it. And someone says, "Oh my god, I completely forgot to ask. I heard on zero degrees that you kicked a door in, Ben. Is that true?" Um, I've, I've done it twice now. Double door kickers. What? It's not as hard as you think. Turns out. Kicking a door in. Yeah. Why? Um, locked myself out of my house. But I just kicked the door in. Yeah. It's really not hard. The second time I did it real quietly, because um, my my wife was asleep upstairs. She'd like like locked the door from the inside and left the key in. Oh fuck! I couldn't open it. Um, she wasn't answering her phone, and I tried like throwing things on the window. She was like completely. Like asleep, um, and I wanted to go to bed. It was like midnight. <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. Fuck. Didn't have my car keys. I'm in the middle. Like I live quite far out of town. Yeah. Um, and I was like, fuck. Either I go, I walk eight miles somewhere to like sleep on a friend's couch. Oh fuck. Or I, because we've got uh, like um, uh, like a porch. Right. So. The front, the first door was open. Okay. So my theory was, worst case scenario, I can lock the porch door. Yeah, yeah. We've still got a lockable yeah, house. Yeah, you've got a backup door. And um, yeah, you can just like, I don't know if I should explain how to open, a, break open a door silently on, on camera. But it turns out there's a way to do it almost silently with minimal effort. There's like physics and pressure ways to just pop open a door, which is pretty scary. I don't... um. Your house is not as secure as you think it is. Wow. Because um, obviously I'm not I'm not the biggest guy. I didn't fucking like shoulder barge it. And you just did. Bloop. 
and it opens. <laughs> like, oh, I channeled my chi. Okay. And, and um, yeah. It is a door properly. Yeah, it's not, not the most secure door. Um, but it is now. Now that I've found out how weak it is, oh, shit. I did upgrade the door. <laughs> okay. If I can do it, fucking anyone can do it. But you need to be careful then about getting locked out the next time. Yes. If you have the super iron door. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I am a lot more careful about my keys now. Oof. Mm. Yeah, so that was a fun weekend, because I did that on Friday night, and then I had to spend the rest of Saturday fixing my door. Now, oh, fun! <laughs> but it was still preferable to walking eight miles in the rain to wake up a friend and sleep on their yeah, couch. Yeah, Jesus. I really want to do. Oof. God, Ooh. more like... Yeah. What else? Mm. Uh, apparently there's a new Necromunda, a mega book. Oh, wow. Okay, has this one actually got all the rules in? Well, probably not. <laughs> for some reason, I've just never forgiven Necromunda's first edition rulebook for just not having a bunch of rules that it said existed and they're just not in there. And a lot of typos. Yeah. Really bad. But I'm sure it's cleaned up now because they've done like seven other books. Maybe. Uh, and Nagash. I love Nagash. Uh, yay! Yay, there he is. Bobo the Clown. Look how much bigger his sword is than his scabbard. He's so cool. It's Magic Bear. <laughs> yeah. He made himself a giant magic skeleton, man. He can do he whatever can, he likes. He can make his scabbard bigger. Because <laughs> oh, look, he's missing his right hand. That's the one the Skaven got the, um, like, Isildur to chop off for them. Yeah. Um, that was a like a common magic item any army could take was the hand of Nagash. Uh, he's in the seventies funk band. He does kids parties. <laughs> he uh, can tell your fortune. He is the best. I fucking love Nagash. He's a great boy. I like Arkan the Black too. Arkan the Black, pretty rad. He's a cool guy. And then what is boring Von Karstein and. Uh, Neferat? No, she's like the Lamia yeah. vampire whose name I've forgotten. Nefi, Nef, Nefeli, Nefelia. Hmm. Maybe. 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 It's kind of weird he's only had two models. Because he's like a major player. Yeah. Well... He was a major guy, and then he was kind of not really in and around it for a long time. And then when this came out, mm. uh, then the world blew up. And so he's always kind of been there. Yeah, but it's kind of weird that at no point between those two models did they ever think to do him again. You know? But I guess they, they when they split Undead, they made them real vampire heavy. Yeah. Because he didn't really fit with that vibe. Yeah, because he's just like sort of old school necromancer. Mm. But a giant skeleton with a giant hat. I need to really reform his body after getting. Oh, he was too scared of Kragnos. Oh. Yeah, oh. probably. Yeah, fair. I would be. <laughs> Oof. Oh, he was busy like corrupting Azhag, wasn't he? That's true. Just having a little, just chat in his ear, uh, just for you know a couple of years. Yeah. Making him stupidity. And making him like a level two death wizard or whatever it was. Very cool. <laughs> oh, he just struggled to top his first model. That's true. Where'd you go from there? Because I think, you know, with a lot of models, like, uh, you know, if you look at the Primaris Space Marines mm -hmm. or, you know, the the new Terminators they just brought out. Yes. What are they going to do for the next version of those? Mm. You're like, surely they must cap out at some point. I think just more missile launchers. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There's barely any missile launchers on those Terminators. Yeah, you give them a, like twin cyclone missile launchers. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like, you know, really hard to like add to those. And when you have this model, you're just like, well, yeah, well, how can we make this better? Well, you can't put more missiles on him. Yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Bigger shoulder pads? Well, they gave him spikes. Mm. They gave him a bigger hat. Mm. It's important. Most of your magic comes from your hat. Mm -hmm. Ask Teclas. 
Very true, yeah. <laughs> That's like a big like magic catcher on the front of his hat. <laughs> yeah. uh, he is great. I love him. Look, I, have they photoshopped that base? Because there's no way it had a brown rim, right? No, definitely not. And I don't think they've gone and got the original 80s model. Which I think that is a picture of the original thing, because it's in that old style. And I don't think they repainted that base, because they've kept like the yellow highlighted goblin green. Let's zoom in in hearts. That fucking looks photoshopped to me. It does look photoshopped. You cowards. Give him the goblin green rim he was born to have. Oh my god, what the <laughs> hell. No one paints that straight. <laughs> and like that? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> cowards. Fucking cowards. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much less ugly. You see, but look, more... have you not seen the rest of the model? <laughs> like, come on. Are you saying goblin green faces are ugly? <laughs> So you're one of the nerds mm. we were talking about that is just wrong. Wrong about things. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think they... Because I bet if we Google classic Nagash miniature, this is a the, the photo picture. of the original heavy metal one. I'm betting. What is that color? It looks like Bane Blade Brown, but I'm not sure. Is that the one on the... There he is. Like, that is the same. It is the same miniature. picture. Yeah, it's just the same picture. They probably don't even have that original model lying around anymore, right? Like, it is at the exact same, same angle, angle, the exact same lighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just biggened it slightly. They just maybe they did repaint the base. I because look, the green is different. It. No, the green's not different. There's slightly more contrast on the new photo. I feel like the old one is like brighter. I think it's just suspicious because it's like the same angle. Yeah. It's like not even one degree off. It's just the one from the box, I guess. Yeah. Well, what a cool, what a cool boy. Do they still sell, um, Camera. Surely not. Maybe they just sell him as a regular old necro dude? Maybe he is just a necromancer. Uh, what is he? Death. Uh, I'll just do all because fuck knows where he is. Uh, wizard. Wizard. Uh, wow, everyone's a fucking wizard, aren't they? Yeah. No? He's gone. Shit! They still sell Krell, don't they? Uh, yeah, because... No Heinrich. Krell was like a or like a white king or something. Yeah, he's not called Krell anymore, is he? He's just a boy. Which is very sad. Where's Krell? Where's Krell? Oh, he's gone too. Maybe they don't sell crawl. Feels bad. Boo. What the heck? Sad times. Mm. Poor Krell. Poor Heinrich. Both yeah. good boys. They didn't survive it into Age of Sigmar. They got obliterated, I guess, when the old world exploded. They, could they still could they be around in Old World Part Two? Electric Boogaloo, like when were they born did? When was that? Because we was undead guys. the White King twice. Yeah, but that's not Krell. That's just a White King. That's not Krell. Krell has an axe. The axe of Krell. The black axe of Krell, wasn't it? When was... Maybe we'll get pre-dead Krell. As like a Chaos Lord. When was he kicking around? Krell. <laughs> That's Krell. There he is. He said he turned into a White King. Oh. Uh, yeah, they just... I think they were selling him. Oh, because he's fine cast, so that's probably why they phased him out. As... 
here. Oh my god. White King with Black Axe. Right. Um, uh, is what he got rebranded as. <gasps> there he Classic is. Classic Lacrell. That's a Krell. <laughs> That's how you Krell. Can we look up his like lexiconum entry? I want to know if he could be around in the old world. Uh, oh, pre-dead Krell was before Sigmar. That's sad. Uh, when is he... Yeah, look, rough 1,500 years before the foundation of the Empire. Wow, that was a long time ago. Wowzers. Okay, and when did he get rezzed? He was buried. He came back. There's no, no timeline. There must be a... Let's look on Heinrich. When did he start kicking around? Uh, he stands a little over six feet in height. I mean, he was a big mini. Uh, oh, here we go. 2491. Oh. He finds the tomb of Krell. That's quite close to the end times, isn't it? When? when? Was the end times? God, you'd be pissed off, wouldn't you, if you became undead and you could live forever and then the world ended 50 years later. Like, oh, fuck. No, oh, I thought I was going to get like hundreds of years. For fuck's sake, I sold my soul for this. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. No Krell in the old world. Ooh. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, so, do you want to find out what's new in other things? Yeah, what's outside of the box? Uh, we have this. Uh, do you want to make a prediction? Oh, what's new in Vietnam's? Um, I want... I want Earthwork Command Tent. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Like... Like, uh, like trap, trap tokens, booby traps. Oh, okay, punji pits. Something like that. Okay. Uh, we've got oh, some British more World War One boys. People. Cool. War Games Atlantic do nice minis. Those yeah. Are nice if that's what you want. Uh, we got Pearl Guard Man. Is oh. that Creed? He's yeah. Got pistols. He lost his jacket. Oh, it's Creed in uh, oh. Trays in the Infinite's collection. Of course it is, because that's because he hasn't got his jacket, because his daughter's got it. That was left behind. And he's in a display pit in near mint condition. Very <laughs> cool. I'm into that. <laughs> that is fun. Uh, that's pretty rad. Wow, it's that is one of the most niche miniatures. Is Well, I guess like you could <laughs> just field <laughs> him. Because uh, it doesn't look like it should be that many pieces, but I feel like they must have somehow found a way to make this at least 15 pieces. <laughs> that is the Artel guarantee. I bought a demon host from there to go in my Inquisition warband, and I still haven't built it yet because it is like 15 pieces for a 28 mil model, which and it's tiny resin contact points. Is I've had so it for at least many. a year, <laughs> just <laughs> waiting for the day I can be bothered. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's a fun, that's a fun little treat. Oh, now I want to build like a kill team board of like, it's, oh, it's Solomon's vault. Yeah. You know, and you just have like every room in the boarding that's party That's such a thing. fucking cool idea. It's a different exhibit. Doing fucking a night at the museum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, that is <laughs> such a good plan. <laughs> and you can like every room, you can push a button and like let them out and have like carnage can happen. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got like old one eye in a cabinet <laughs> and it's creed <laughs> yeah. there and a band of orcs. Um, you could even make them modular so the, the stasis tubes like swap out so yeah. it can be like different stuff every time. That's such a fun idea. Oh, I want to do it. That's really, really good. Can uh, do that? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, making a little, uh, just, like, tomb board, mm. like, you can easily just have, like, two rooms, like, a little kind of connecto corridor with just some exhibits in each. Uh, man, we should make that. That'd be yeah. fucking great. 
And then someone's like, boop, I let out this custody. Who like, starts chopping hard. And then the other guy's like, oh my god, boop, I let out a <laughs> mega spawn. <laughs> oh my god. But people might go into the, the area with the uh, you know the shields. And if you can like up the shield and you're like, oh <laughs> shit, like half my squad was in there. <laughs> yeah. And they're all just like frozen. I need to go and find the... Uh... The turn off stasis button. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, I love it. That's a, such a fucking cool idea. Yes, we will, we'll we'll work this out. We'll make that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would play that game with you. We uh, can just put all sorts of dumb shit in there as well. We can have, like, here's some mecha dino riders from Ongulon Prime. Perfect, yeah. Because like, he's been around for millions of years, right? Yeah, anything could be there. So they could be stuff you've never heard of in 40k because he got the last one before they went extinct. What's the, like, wackiest thing that used to be in there? Oh, my God, get the... Have the exhibit and... Free the female space marine. <laughs> she can come out all guns blazing. Oh, sweet. That'll get us some comments. That will, uh, yeah, everyone's really, really fucking chill on that subject. You know, oh, nerds. Think of the engagement. Think of the engagement, Ben. <laughs> yeah, definitely that. Some felonids. Uh, we have to have some felonids. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Sherlock. Clouseau. <laughs> um, be one Sherlock Clouseau. <laughs> that guy, have him there. The teleporting Croco man. Oh, I love that. Crotalids. Oh my god, we could get a Tom and Ben from Old Terror. <laughs> <laughs> There's two mega nerds just sat at a table. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, that'd be so fucking good. Kremlo. Kremlo no, I don't, I don't think uh, Trazen is strong enough to capture a Kremlo. Kremlin is one of the old ones, or a slam at least. Yeah, but that's exactly the kind of thing Trazen would be after. He would want it, but... That's his white whale. That's his white whale, to get a, a genuine Kremlin. Uh, I love it. <laughs> this, stuff, this, this sounds fucking great. <laughs> God, now we're going to build a whole like Necron tomb complex. I think that'd be fine. I reckon we could put that together pretty easily. Yeah, it's mainly just like black panels with some green lines on it, right? Yeah. How hard can that be? <laughs> like, not too <laughs> difficult at all. Uh, yeah, I'm in. Make it so. Uh, That's a fun Autark. I like him. They look really good. Oh, or is that meant to be the Phoenix Lord? Maybe. Depends how big he is and how big that base is. Because that could be, um, well, I forget his name now, the Dire Revenger Phoenix Lord, who's really cool in the artwork, but the model is super dated. It could be either kind. Sermon. I like that. Uh, cool. Some infinities. Some ro robots. Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, that guy looks great. Mecha samurai with koala friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I need <laughs> the little koala bots, uh, but that guy looks really fucking that good. That guy's awesome. Yeah. Oh, once again, there's always like one infinity guy I like. That you're like, oh shit, I'd do that. Mm. Uh, 12 mil World War Two. Why 12 mil? Because then you can't buy them from anyone else. You've got to buy them from the people who make the 12 mils. Okay. But... Interesting. I don't know if that's a good mil. 15 mil's good. 6 mil's good. Do you need something in between the two? 12 mil, Ben. But it's also barely any smaller than 15. Mm. Feels weird. But then, you know, it's smaller and therefore better. Yeah, that's true. So, who am I to argue? Uh, sure. And... Like... Who are these? Is this like Chaos Dwarves? For Chaos Pacific? Dwarves? Maybe? Maybe? Fissile Dwarves, I think they call them. Right. Mm. Okay. Uh, Michael Keaton, Batman. Nice. Pretty cool. Have you seen his new film? The Flash? Mm. No. No, okay. I kind of wanted just to see Michael Keaton Batman. Yeah, like, when I saw the trailer, mm. I was actually... That's the first time I've been hyped for a superhero movie. Uh, like, a live-action superhero movie in... Yeah. God, the longest time. I can't even remember what the last one was. Probably Endgame. I just didn't even care. Really? Just, I, was, I was already out. Oh, fair enough. Um, but when I saw, like, oh, shit, them, they're going to do a sort of Into the Spideyverse. Mm. And 
I remember those things. I remember those things. <laughs> uh, thought it was great. Apparently it's bombed like real hard. Really? It's Is like it... the biggest superhero loss making movie of all time or something like that. Fuck, why? Is it? Cause... It cost th three, four hundred million to make or whatever it was. Oh. They've been making it for like seven years and it's had all these reshoots and cameos and like, oh. I'm sure they had to pay Michael Keaton 20 million or whatever to turn up. Um, and like, Ezra Miller is a d fucking walking disaster area criminal psychopath. Yeah, I heard there. Which, uh, hasn't helped. A pretty crazy person. Like it feels, it feels bad. Because if that had been a, if they hadn't have done that, like Michael Keaton definitely would have got a standalone Batman movie at some point with the yeah. new relaunch of uh, DC. But now. Shots are in, probably right. Anyone else who's attached to it is just like, oh mm. my god. Oof. Yeah, it's bad. It's a real shame because, like, the thing is, like, the DC movies have just almost all been terrible, and so why were they doubling down and spending more and more on every film when there's no hype? Because everyone's like, oh, I hated the last one. I'm not watching the next one, and that, they've just been going down and down and down in viewership. So they've been spending more and more money and. Like Warner Brothers is like so in debt now. I forget what it is. Really? Um, yeah, because they keep making bomb after bomb after bomb. Um, what is that? There you go. Four forty-nine point five billion dollars in debt. My first question is, who's lending them that money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Where do you get that much money? I don't know. Fucking madness. It's such a lot of money. Um, because they keep spending 400 million on insane films that no one wants to see. Oof. Wow. Okay. Although I think, I guess when you, once you owe people that much money, it's not your problem anymore, is it? Yeah, and chances are, you know, if you're if you work there, if you're like the fucking CEO or whatever, mm. you're still going to be a fucking multi-millionaire <laughs> yeah. after that court case is settled. Uh, yeah, you already got yours. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely fine. So fuck it. Try and make another one. Yeah, double or quits, I guess. <laughs> if they did kick off like the proper, you know, the, the DCCU, whatever the fuck you're calling it, mm. and it gets as big as the MCU... You might actually start turning a profit. Like I you don't might. Know. I don't know if the MCU has made that fifty billion. No, it definitely won't <laughs> of at all. But <laughs> even if you pull off a once in a generation media like enterprise, yeah, <laughs> you're still not paying that debt off. Yeah. Ooh. Well, God, I don't know enough about uh, <laughs> economics to work out exactly how any of that shit works. No, this is uh, way above Tom and Ben talk. Mm. I remember liking Michael Keaton. Yeah, he was a Batman. Do you remember him in um, the Spider-Man film? I really liked him in that. Uh, as the Vulture. He was the Vulture. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, Michael Keaton's a cool guy. He was very menacing. Like, I liked him because he just felt, you know, pretty pretty reasonable. Yeah, You know, he didn't feel like the villain at all. Like, you know, I could get, get his logic, and he felt like a, a real enough sort of dude. Hmm. Who just had mecha wings, <laughs> bird claws? <laughs> They're cool bird claws. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use all of this tech to be a big bird. <laughs> yeah. Like, sure, you know what? I only know how to build one thing. Yeah, bird. <laughs> I'm just really like birds, and so I'm definitely gonna use the tech to be a bird guy. Uh, oh, and Michelle Pfeiffer too. Oh my god, a homemade cat suit. Holy shit, that was definitely an awakening for me. <laughs> that was a. Uh, she kisses that guy with a taser at the end. Do you remember that? Oh my god, I'd take that. That's fucking weird. Um, very cool. Uh, we got some street thugs. Spectre miniatures. I haven't heard of these guys before. No. Looks like they're doing sort of like modern street warfare. They're pretty cool, actually. 
the MCU has made around 50 billion at the box office. Oh, wow. So my point stands, they would be out of debt and have a cool like couple of hundred milli uh, left over. Oh, nice, as a treat. They can have a pizza party. Nice, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the rate that they spend money. <laughs> sure, they probably would spend 400 million on a pizza party. <laughs> Uh, but cool. Okay, and criminal we'll... element gang. Oh, it's, oh, it's a priest. It's priests. Should have known. Shit. Fair enough. Um, that's revenue, not profit. Oh yeah. Fine. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, yeah. Well, you're on your way, right? I have to admit, Marvel's heading the same way at the moment, though. The last few Marvel films have not been great. I watched, God, I just don't give a shit. I watched Ant Man the other day and I just regretted all the decisions in my life that had built up to that point. You watched what? Uh, the new Ant Man, Quantumania. Oh, God, yeah. Like, I just was not. I thought it was. I, I wanted to know about Kang, who seemed quite an interesting villain. He's like the new Thanos, apparently. But also, he's a weird scumbag actor as well who's probably going to get cancelled. So. Which one's Kang? He's purple suit. I just don't care. Like when I see, but holy shit, the yeah, I'm at, just Ant Man put me off. I'm not gonna watch another Marvel thing. I don't. I think I'm just done now, because um, it was just just bad. Everything about it, it was boring. It was stupid. It didn't have any funny bits. Um, there's this terrible scene where I think Ant Man's meant to be big. Right. Because he can go big. Yeah. But he's in, like, the quantum dimension. Sure. Um, so he's actually very, very, very small. But everything around him is just swirling cosmic nonsense. You can't mm. see where he is. And he's big. And he's fighting something else that's big. I think we... Did we have this chat last week or oh, the week maybe. before? I probably did. Well, it was like, like there's no... Uh... So there's no scale. And you're just like, is he... What is even happening here? It just looks like a dude wrestling something. Like... There's no, there's no weight or scale or um, um, reference for this at all. Maybe we did it on a different thing rather than the stream. Maybe. Mm. Anyway. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is great. Yeah, I've heard people say that. I probably should get watch it at some point. But, oh well. I'm looking forward to something different being made in films. You know, the new, the new th hot thing will come and replace superheroes at some point, right? That's how these things work. What's it going to be? Oh, computer game stories. Oh, I reckon hope they're going to, you know, after The Last of Us, fucking make a computer game. Uh, they're all getting bought up now. Yeah, but most of them don't have good stories to tell. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, got the third season of Out of the Witcher. Yeah, we might get a Red Dead movie. I always think that's just cowboys. <laughs> yeah. It's just fucking just a fucking cowboy thing. Uh, I don't know. It's got to be our, you know, an established IP, though. That's the problem. When was the last successful movie that wasn't based on a thing? I think we're just going to... If Barbie does well, then we're just going to get, like, Hot Wheels, Cars, the movie, and... <sighs> <laughs> you know <laughs> all the brands you know and love Tom I guess like what the are your favorite Lego brands? movies did good and then there yeah I mean Lego was just a fucking good good movie yeah well made uh, Legend of Zelda starring Adam Sandler <laughs> sounds amazing um yeah hmm Nerf Gun oh, the they movie could... <laughs> oh my god, wow. <laughs> god, I could just feel I just feel like that is That's probably in development as we speak. Is uh, could be a thing. Um <laughs> oh. they're making an Uno movie? Fuck. Yeah. How would you make an Uno movie? I guess you could do it if the creation of Uno, the card game, has an interesting backstory. Mm. A bit like the Tetris movie, right? Oh, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Like, you can do that. They made the Battleships movie. That was that not was a good so movie. shit, though, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> that was God. not a good film. <laughs> uh, With Uno, you could make it so that they have, like, a, like a high-tech device 
that can like do different things. It can like reverse. Oh, they like... already made that. It was called Switch or something. It was okay. Was it Will Smith? Then he had the remote, the remote control. That was an Adam Sandler. Adam right Sandler there. with the remote. And control. he could like rewind and yeah, and mute. And <laughs> click was it? <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> oh, let's not make an Adam Sandler movie. There's enough of those already. No, I liked him in uh, Uncut Gems. I heard that was good. I haven't seen it. And did you watch the the fucking murder mystery film with him in? Him and Jennifer Aniston. They do a film that's called Murder Mystery. Really? <laughs> um, Doesn't sound right. And the... Well, like they were kind of fun. They were kind of fun. Like, mm. I God, I can't remember anything about the second one when I did watch it. Oh no, I do. Yeah, they were in Paris. <laughs> uh, mm. But yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't hate him. I think it was just a period of there were movies that he made that I really didn't like, like Jack and Jill. Yeah. Pixels. Pixels. Hey, your <laughs> cast. <laughs> it's such a good line. Oh. Loser respect for Tom as he defends Adam Sandler. Are you saying you don't like any Adam Sandler films? Well, I've lost my respect for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's some fucking terrible ones. Oh, geez. And it's very yeah. easy to have seen one or two of those and just write him off as the worst. For sure. Um, um, but he does have quite a range of work, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, was the... Like, Happy Gilmore. Absolute classic. Although a lot of the uh, ones that I loved when I was a kid, I have not ever gone back and rewatched. Like Little Nicky. Little Nicky. The guy had boobs for a head. He had... He, something made magic and he had boobs on his head. He turned Pepsi into Coke. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, or the other way around, I forget. Um, yeah, I bet none of the 90s Adam Sandler films have aged well. I bet they're all like fucking yikes now. Oh, God, I bet they're <laughs> not so good to watch. <laughs> What's the thing? Like, there's like at the end of it, there's like a demon and he turns into a bat and then they summon Ozzy Osbourne and he comes and bites his head off. Oh, Jesus, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> the Wedding Singer. I remember liking The Wedding Singer a lot. I thought that was really good. Um, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I've not seen those in a while. They did put a, a pineapple up Hitler's butt. Oh, well then how could that be a bad movie? That was true. Um, just great. Wow. Just real good. The Longest Yard. I didn't see that. Was that... That was a sport one, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't watch a lot of sport movies. Yeah. I'm not a sportsman. Should we get into some Kickstarter roulette? Let's do it. What have we got this week? Uh, um, ooh, Innsmouth Characters Part 2. Ooh, that's a good choice. Mm. Rat bots! <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Sexy warriors. Okay, we can look at the herd of beast nine. Okay, but, no one gets to pick it. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with bones and armor. Oh shit, that's not a bad choice. It might be skeletons. What does chat want? Uh, you got to get two together. That's the rule. Uh, spicy art. <laughs> He's the first one that two of them said at the same time. Spicy art, smile oh, of them. Hell. You horny dogs. Oh. Jeez. God, there's none that are really drawing me in. I'm going to try Tabletop Hauser, Galand, Dioraman. What about uh, Tower of Babel? Or Dojo of the Ancients? 
or Dawnmoor. See, I was thinking Dawnmoor, but I saw it was by Depraved Sun. Oh. That was like... <laughs> no horny gnome today. We can we can see what it is, but... Okay, but no one's picking. Sure, Dojo of the Ancients, I'll go with that. But actually, now I am curious about how how boring is this going to be. <laughs> well, the fact it's got HO scale in it is a real giveaway that it's just a brick building. Well, actually, it's pretty nice. Lovely brick building. Well done. Right. Dojo, dojo of the Ancients. Okay. Like what? Space dojo. Yeah, but what is that meant to... Is that from something? I don't recognize it from anything, but you know, maybe it's just an original idea. Maybe it's it doesn't have really to be from It feels like it's got like a, like a vibe. Yeah, it's got like some kind of space anime Star Wars kind of vibe, isn't it? Like if someone was like, oh, that's the one from John Carter of Mars mm. or something like that. Yeah, or an episode of The Clone Wars where they go to Dojo Planet. Yeah. I mean, it could be. There's, oh, these people are kind of fun. Oh, yeah. That kind of bug, bugulons. Yeah, I like the buggy ones. And crystals. Okay. Cool. Uh, buggy on sand temple. You got it. <gasps> it's my Father Dagon. Ah. Is this this is part two? I feel like we saw these guys before. Is it just him? Father Dagon. I want more. More than one fish, please. Deep one. Oh, there we go. But he looks a little bit oh. fishy. Oh, <laughs> these are cool. I mean, the shadow effects are doing a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen these before. Um, I remember now. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it's a bit more good. kind of squat than yeah. I imagined old Dagon to look like. I thought of him being a bit longer, like a big long boy. Yeah, more eely. But very nice. Mm. Uh, I was just hoping for more creepy fishermen villages. Yeah, I was kind of sad that we didn't get more Innsmouth characters. Mm. I feel lied to. Uh, rat bots. Rat bots. A modular mecha rats for Blood Bowl. That one's got roller skates. Oh, wow. Oh, there's all the things. Okay. You can mix and match. You can have your roller skate gutter runner. You can have your Halo Energy Sword guy. Okay. Right. Rat bots. He's got a fun tail. Your thrower's got like a spring-loaded catapult. Sure, that's, that's kind of kind of cool. <laughs> rocket runners. They've got rocket skates. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Very neat. Uh, these guys are fun. They're just you know goofy skavens. Roger. Roger. I want to know what that stands for. Ro Robot Ogre is. Uh, oh. But it's got dots for everything. Mm. Robotic organism, gigantic ravage engine. Great. I'd, I'd go with that. <laughs> Very. It's like a um, fat boy from Fallout. Yeah. Yeah, it does really have that sort of vibe, doesn't it? These are pretty cool. They're quite big, aren't they? Yeah. But I guess they're STLs, right? So you could print them at, you know, 30% smaller yeah, or change, something if you wanted to. Change your scale. Okay. Pretty pretty naughty. Oh, fat man, not fat boy. Oops. Uh herd of beasts. <laughs> Sure. It's like other dinosaurs look, you've seen. Look at the, that guy's um, the thing that's a bit T Rexy. Look at its tiny arms. It's doing a Naruto run. Oh, wow. <laughs> it goes, goes faster. Uh, those guys have got wonky horns. Great. Is that that guy? He's everyone's favorite. Just everyone. Everyone loves that one. Uh, a pterodon. I love his tiny arms. So, so tiny. 
Oh, Leah Pluridon. Ooh. Everyone loves a Leah Pluridon. Yeah, that one's eating a fish. Om nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Uh, okay. Right, because they have the Leah Pluridon. I'm in. Just those little arms. Okay. So he could be cool. in, uh, you know, Trazin's um, mm. uh, museum. Wow. Angry Ron's seventh favorite water dino. Really? High praise. Uh, name your top six. You know, fuck it. You wouldn't have stopped at seven. Name the top ten. <laughs> uh, right. Bones and armor. Nice. Skeletons. They're modular. Very cool. Mix and match your armored boys with your weapons. Oh, and all the different helmets. Oh, this is a cool set. Problem with being modular is you lose a bit of character. Yeah, like a little bit. They're, they're a bit stiff and generic, but a lot of options. You know, halberd spears, hand weapons, shields, crossbows, loads of different helmets. Good variety. Oh my god. Are they dead or are they sleeping? <laughs> they're dancing. Oh, they're dancing. Okay, great. I love that. More heads, more weapons, more shields. Cavalry. Men of Rome. Oh. Can I mix and match those? Can I have skelly Romans? I assume so. But there's not enough of that in the world. Skelly Romans. You can get skeletons up the wazoo. There's millions of skeletons in tattered armor. Mm -hmm. So there's very, very few Skeleton samurai, skeleton Romans, skeleton Greeks, you know, where they're wearing the full historical armor. Yeah. I guess it's quite niche, right? It is, but there's so many just generic, you know, breastplate skeletons. Mm. I guess you're probably going to sell less by niching yourself up, but I would totally do a, a literally any historical army, but it's skeleton. Any historical army. Wow. The Waffen SS, but skeletons. Is that who you want to play? That's a historical army, right? Is that better or worse than just playing them straight? <sighs> <laughs> I think it's better. I think it's slightly better. My gut, my gut instinct says better, <laughs> but it's not a hill I'm going to die <laughs> on. No, I haven't thought it all the way through. I, I don't think the Wolf and SS are ever on a hill I'm willing to die on. No. <laughs> I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, I'm not going to defend Nazis. <laughs> I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's great. Call me, call me crazy <laughs> crunt contrarian. <laughs> But there's uh, just some lines I'm not going to cross. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Ben with his hot takes <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, okay. Uh, I did like the comment, which was the uh, the S in SS stands for skeletons. It actually just stands for skeleton skeletons. Skeleton soldiers. Uh, skeleton soldiers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <sighs> so uh anyway moving on chat went for this oh chat you perverts get your gnomes out get all of your gnomes your wow gnomes. there's no they don't <laughs> even put any pictures there's no text that feels like an error hmm backers i think it's, there's an error here the data hasn't loaded which is probably for the best, because I don't know if we need more information on this one. 51 people went for it. Who is buying these? It's not even a good sculpt compared to some of the ones we've seen. I'm not going to scroll down any no, further. No, that's enough. What is the ratio? Yeah. How many hornies are there? Like, epic barbarian woman. Oh, that's going to be fucking horny. Uh, yeah, pin-up dancer... That's two. That's definitely horny. Uh, Mystic pinup and it blades of warrior horny. Princess, the warrior probably. princess. Yeah, that one. Got like four. Oh shit! No one went from woodland critters. God, that's oh, great. I missed that completely. Oh, can we have a look at it? Oh, uh, we hundred percent can. Fighter girl. Probably horny. Probably horny. 
Um, sexy warriors, also horny. That makes seven. Um, and there might be a secret horny one in there because that definitely. Yeah, like Forest there. Guardians Volume One. <laughs> Probably going to get horny down there. You know, do a little red hot scroll and. There's gonna be. There there's, it, it, is. it instantly gets fucking <laughs> horny. Just instantly gets fucking horny. The whoever the fucking pervert is that makes these, it's really fun. I like that you put a lot of you know fun kickstarts in there. But there is so much, so many STLs of just topless women. And who is printing them? You know who. Does. People with too many gnomes. People with too many gnomes. God. Yeah. But they do all sell. I don't know who's buying them <laughs> then printing them. Well, isn't like, I don't know if this is still true because we looked a few years back, but um, wasn't it like the most successful Patreon by a country mile was like a porn artist? Uh, no. But of the top 10, like four of them were fucking were porn, but I can't remember what the, the top one was, but the top one was just like something famous. Yeah, something famous. Um But yeah, a lot of them uh do porn. Mm. Brandon Sanderson, known porn artist. Well this I said this was years ago. <laughs> and also that's Kickstarter, not Patreon. But right. Okay, there's maybe this is too early to be getting into a real horny chat, but right, right. So people people are going to look at porn. You know, you want people so. are going to get their uh, have their fun. Mm -hmm. You might be in something niche, and so you might stop paying for that that yeah, porn because you can't. There's not enough of what you want. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think sure. like basically of all the uh, Patreons that were the porn ones, they were all furry as well. So you're already getting like a niche, mm -hmm. but. At what step does that get boring enough for you mm. that you're then like, I need to 3D print my porn <laughs> because two dimensions is not enough. I now mm. am going like, what? Yeah. At what point are you 3D you, printing your, your horny models? You do have those people who have like their anime waifu statues on their shelf, right? Yeah, but are they like, you know... Sure, they're fucking horny, but aren't they from like TV shows and stuff? Yeah, but is it so the same kind of thing where it's not really about the porn; it's about just having the things like you that. like looking at. Maybe I don't know. What about 4D porn? Yeah, why stop at 4D? All Let's just G's. jump, jump ahead. Hmm. You just want to paint sexy models. Well, that's fair. Okay. The list is 22.86% horny, which is surprisingly <laughs> high. It just feels weird, I guess, because I'm here to find miniatures for war games. And it feels real weird to get other people's, like, horny kinks shoved yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, like, I, you know, I'm not gonna uh, yuck no yums at all. Like, you fucking... You, yeah, you, like you. what you like. But it is weird... Like, if you had to play fucking Warhammer, mm -hmm. and someone's like, I 3D printed all of my Space Marines, I want them all to have their cocks out. And you're like... <laughs> why? Yeah, why? What is this? Why? Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> why? <laughs> but why? Why are you doing that? Am I now part of something? Yeah. That, uh, are we getting different things out of this uh, game? Yeah. <laughs> um, customers basically uh. did in the early days. There is a, a huge league between early custodies and actually having your cock out. Those guys <laughs> were wearing loincloths. You saw they had sexy boots, but... They were, yeah, it's different to full frontal nudity, I feel. There he is. Look. So he's got pants on. Yeah, like there's the the mini. He's wearing pants. God, like a summer's day in the city center. <laughs> yeah. You're probably not going to see a cape, but that's not a, a wacky look. Um, that is not having your cock out. <laughs> Mm. 
It is weird how the memes have turned this into this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This is what people think of now when you talk about old custodies. Yeah, yeah. The uh, horny voice. Well, it was just the emperor had text to speech that did that. Yeah. But I genuinely think there's probably a lot of people that think that this is it. You know, because they've. They've never actually gone back and looked at the old stuff. And just been like, oh, they're just weird. Weird <laughs> and old. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. If you uh, are loving your 3D printed horny, horny models, you go for it. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy what you like. It's just, I guess, different. looking for different things. Uh, would you like to see some woodland critters? Show me some woodland critters. Please don't instantly go horny. Uh, okay. Hey. The squirrels? Dawdles? Mice? Uh, hedgehogs? Watch hicks. I've got a hedgehog living in my garden. He just turned up last week. Yeah? He's adorable. Is he paying rent? No, son of a bitch. What the fuck? But it's the only thing my cat has not killed in my garden. He's scared of it. Wow. It's a big one. It's like probably about a foot long. Jesus. He's a chungus. And my boy has called him Mr. Prickles. Mr. Prickles. He lives at the end of the garden and scares the cat. Wow. Okay. Have you fed it? We did leave some food out for him. Some cat food. But we don't know if he ate it or the cat ate it. There's no way of knowing. Impossible to know. <laughs> uh, okay. Mr. Prickles. Yeah, he's he sounds, a boy. Sounds very nice. Um, what do hedgehogs normally eat? Like slugs, right? Wormies, I guess. Mealworms work great for hedges. Mm. You can get special hedgehog food that's better than cat food. Ah. I'm sure. Yeah, but I'm sure you could get even more special hedgehog food that's better than your special <laughs> hedgehog food. <laughs> you could get him some food that's better than mine. Uh. Yeah, geez. I'll make him a pizza. Ooh, hedgehog pizza. Would you eat a hedgehog? No, I bet they're riddled with parasites. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I get that vibe. No, I get... I bet you're probably probably right. I think that's true of like any thing like that, like a badger or a fox or a... Yeah. Any sort of scavenging creature that can survive in a city. Feels probably like not. it's probably not the best. Not the dream world. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Oh no. I think Rhodes already make hedgehog pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking good joke. That's a horrible uh. joke, but it's a good joke. Um Not Mr. Prickles. Not Mr. Prickles. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, who do you think wins? I kind of think maybe it's going to be the Bone Boys. Oh, yeah, I thought we had to pick a winner. I think it probably is. Yeah. Some of those are quite cool. Oh. Oh, we didn't look at this one. Dawn. Oh, shit. These guys would have actually been great. Oh, they look cool. They're like Dark Souls town people. Yeah. Preacher, they look rad. They're missing their nose. Mm. Blacksmith, right. also missing their nose. Maybe a lot of... Oh, oh the fisherman's fishing with their tongue. Ooh. Ah. Or they're eating like an eel. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I feel like these totally could have won. Mm. Yeah, definitely. These really feel like they're right out of Bloodborne or Dark Souls, don't they? Yeah... Oh, shit. God, I was just worried because it was by Depraved Sun. <laughs> I was like... Should we see what else they've done? They might have some... I can't risk the same uh, style. Uh, first created. One oh, back. Okay. One today back. It's private. Oh, fair enough. Because, yeah, it's horny. some kind of horny. <laughs> 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 just some kind of fucking titty stuff. Uh, right. Uh, we need to go on a quick break. But we'll be back soon and we're going to be playing some... FTL. FTL with the hyperspace multiverse mod. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, so stay tuned and mm -hmm. we will be back very soon. See you in five. Bye.
Ben, 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 Tom, 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 what we do we have? Fleeted it last week with Stealthy Boy. Mm. So now we can play Drone Ship, Drone Yulon Engie Boy, which has got little piddle laser and attack drones. Fun. Or this guy, who is like a fancy cruise ship that's got lots of crew loving abilities. It has a lot of things. Yeah, it's got like boosted O2, med bay, piloting doors, cameras, all that shizzle biz, and a shield charge booster. Wild. So it's, I guess this is a bit more of a blank slate. Yeah. That's kind of okay at a lot of different things. Whereas this guy's like a dedicated drone boy. Mm. It comes with a drone arm. Wow. Hmm. What would you prefer? Hmm. Uh, I've just never seen this ship before, which is kind of interesting. But maybe the Engie ship's a bit more fun. Sure. Do you want to do regular mode, or do you want to? Do you reckon we're good enough for hard mode? We did finish regular mode already, so I guess we have to take it hard now, right? Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. We get more crew on this ship, though. That might be fun. We can do whichever you like. Let's do cruise ship, hard mode. Oh God. Low scrap, harder enemies. Yikes. Who are we going to call our peoples? Uh, wait, should we do, do that when we actually hit space? I'm going to change uh, the name, ship name. The Monotony. The nah, that's middle five. Sliders. Ah, the Middle Sliders. Yeah. Perfect. Get a little bit of scrap. Um, oh, configure your challenge level. What is that? No idea. What? What? Uh, it's independent from the standard difficulty slider. Uh, maybe we should do normal mode and then crack this up to like, uh, no, do, do normal on the regular difficulty just so we get money so we can right. spend stuff. And then if there's the that mode, then make it... Um, yeah, okay. Uh, crank that up to be a little harder. Oh, I thought it was going to main menu, not to desktop. Okay. Whoopsie. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Mm. But yeah, I like a little bit of fuddle. Yeah, me too. It's classic. It is a classic. Uh, gonna have to let to like research. Yeah. Okay, let me go. Let's make a good old middle sliders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then... And then challenge mode. Configure challenge level, and yeah, go challenge. Challenge. Uh, Harder challenge without things getting too out of hand. Okay, the rebel fleet gets an extra boost. So you get one less planet per system. Renegade bosses are buffed. And take cruisers tribute. Traveling merchants never give gifts. We did get a lot of free stuff. Okay, great. That sounds fun. Proceed um, with the mission. Okay, do you want to do the first one or shall I? Uh, do you want to find another crew? Well, I always think finding another crew here is better. Okay. Um, you can begin. Uh, on a salvage mission? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I will begin, but I must have my peoples named. First up is Gabriel of Nottingham. Gabriel Nutt. Gabriel Nutt. And then C Row. But it might just have to be Crow, because if you put a space, then I think their name will just be C. There we go. And then Chiron. Chiron. Okay. And Krukin Keldurian. Uh, or Eldrian. Have to be Krukink today. 
And Monster's Lair. Uh, what's the plot? Why are we running? The plot is pretty fucking bonkers. There's our multiverse. That's as, that's as much as I can tell you. <laughs> right. It's all you need to know. Uh, we can take Megadors, I guess. Sure. Are we... Wait, it's, got, it's a bit of a... Bit God, we should have put a few more doors in those corridors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can up this. We've got two... Actually, what have we got? A Pierce gun and a regular gun. Love that. Okay. So the heavy laser mark one... Oh, it fires slightly quicker, but the Pierce obviously pierces. Okay, great. Great. Let's go to space! Uh, straight to a merchant? Uh, or distressed? No, we should take... Oh, we yeah, won't get... go ring around the roses a little bit. Well, they're going to they're be here. So I think we have to go here and then back. Can't take that long thing because of the boosted jumps. Uh, we'll rescue this merchant. Oh, prepare for combat. Uh, okay. You've got a pew pew. This will be quite a straightforward combat for a bit. Oh, did you have a little laser? We, um... We heavy pierce the shields. And then... And then we heavy gun the laser. Maybe it's better to get the drone. Well, now our shields charge faster than it fires. Okay, that's good. So that'll train up our shield boy a bit, you know? Neat. Okay, well, while you do that, I'm going to do some reading. Uh, Gabriel of Nottingham doing these five bucks. Thank you, Gabriel. Oh, thank you. It's a berm, bantoom. Uh, remember the new plastic kits promised for the old world? Mm. Uh, look at the heads on the two new resin paladins versus the heads in the article. Oh. You've been doing some detective work. Okay. You can look at that. Uh, right, there's a bunch of links. Can't afford much. Okay. Okay, so we got stag helmet on resin foot knight. Sure. Uh, and then we've got like the sprue of heads. Oh, so is it just like a upgrade sprue? Is that what you're... Yeah, I bet it's going to be like either forge world resin arms and head sprues. Yeah, like they did the gang upgrade mm, sets for Necromunda. Necromunda. Wow, so it is just the heads are from... The heads are from that. Oh, uh, maybe the banner is from that as well. Jeez, oh, okay. So it's literally just a Forge World upgrade thing. Yeah. It feels bad. Uh, Not bad, doesn't it? Yeah, I can give people the links if you want to click on those and do your own detective work. It did say new plastics. There will be something plastic. But it's we'll, not much. We'll, we'll see. We literally can't afford anything, but we could sell... What's the emergency manual? It's extra options to last-minute preparations before combat to produce fuel, convert missiles, drone parts, or even detonate extra missiles. Maybe we want to keep that if we're playing... Wait, we're not playing drone ship. No. But it might... I mean, this is kind of the thing this ship gets. Yeah, so maybe... Maybe, maybe we should buy keep anything. It. Yeah, I don't think we can afford anything. Okay. Uh, zero! Donates five bucks, the zero. Thank you. Uh, and they say, uh, Hello, empty and leg. Hello. Uh, for the last half year, I've been hooked on ASOIAF colon TMG. A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game. Yep. Uh, been playing almost every week with my coworkers by booking a conference room at work after hours. Very cool. Uh, I sent some pics of my Night's Watch. Oh, these guys look great. Oh, man. You have a ghost. You painted the whole lot of them. They're all painted and based. Good job. Very nice. These oh, guys they look great. Super duper pretty. Oh, and you've got cold, cold hands, hands on this big stag. Nice. Like this little glowy eye on the stag. Uh, very, very neat. Yeah, that's a cool game. Yeah, I think it's like literally the best, the best like regiments rank and flank game I've ever played. Yeah. I like it a lot. Like, really good. Really solid. Uh, but yeah, we do a similar thing here, where we book one of the meeting rooms, and mm. we play toy soldiers in there, instead of having a meeting. It's much more fun. Although maybe that's what, what everyone is doing, because those meeting rooms are always fucking booked, and so maybe everyone else is just in there oh, playing all hammers. I, I can only assume so. Probably. What else would they be doing? No idea. Boo. 
no guns, mate. What you gonna do? God, the ship feels feels good already. He's very good against things with one shield. Yeah, that's gonna drop off. <laughs> God, but it gets through these fights fucking fast. It really does. Uh, yeah, we're gonna struggle when they start having two shields. Yeah, we need additional guns. Investigate. Uh, send the crew to assist. Nothing, nothing good. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, Chiron donates 20 bucks. Hey, wow, Chiron. Well, thank you, Chiron. They say, Tom and Ben, how are you boys? Looking forward to a great stream. Yeah. Do you remember to check out the Nagash mod? Uh, the two sub mods needed for it are only small, so it wouldn't take long to add them. Either way, can't wait to see what you get up to. Mm. Uh, so we're playing some FTL today. But I am uh, keen to try out that Nagash mod. Yeah, it does, in a week look, or two. does look very cool. Man, Thanks hey, for the tip. Bonk those boys down. Yeah, Thank you, Kyle. We're chewing through them. Uh, and Krukink Eldurian, or Eldrian. Thanks, five bucks. The Krukink. Thank you. Say, hi, Tim, and the other guy. Uh, I'm currently packing for my trip over the pond. Ooh. So if you hear some rustling behind your bins this weekend, it's either me or a fox. <laughs> Maybe a hedgehog. I'll take you, uh, That's fine. Anyway, chop me up if applicable. Cremlo came from the post office with postage due. Oh, oh Cremlo. You've got to pay your own way. postage due. Come on, Come on Cremlo. Uh, Some weird new weapons. Corbin. It's a rad beam. Sounds pretty rad. Uh, it chain fires? It speeds up as it chains. It's a long beam that does 60 crew damage and shield piercing. Um, wow, this is beams. really just a fucking beam shop, isn't it? I mean, beams can be fun. Yeah. But they do take, like... A bit more work. This one needs five power. Base hold damage four. God, when that thing pops off, that thing does a lot of damage. Does it pierce? It doesn't look like it. How the fuck are you ever going to fire this thing? Because you need five power for this, and then you need enough power to get their shields down as well. Mm, drones? Have you got, like, an, some kind of ion plinker? Maybe we should be fishing for ion. We've not done any ion stuff. We haven't done an ion build. I'm kind of tempted to just beam them to death. I like things that only do crew damage and not hull damage. That's kind of fun. I feel like you run the risk of... I, don't th I think it's too early to commit. Mm. You know, we've got a sector or two to work out something. Yeah, should we just hold on to the bucks? Yeah. Just I've never seen these before. I feel like they won't show up again. Them red pinpoint micro beam, micro beam. Um, you can oh, just do 60 damage. damage to like one dude, just go fuck you. Pew, take quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You got a killing crew is like an all in strat, yeah. So you got to build into it heavily. Oh, beams leaves a damage per shield. That's right. Oh, so the five thing actually, yeah, you only have to knock down one of their shields. Pretty good. Mm. Contact the drone, get supplies. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, well. Do. Uh, we can't let them escape. Fire all weapons. We've just upset the Federation. Well, these guys were going to snitch. Yeah, can't let them snitch. Uh, they forget to take out their pilot. Yeah, I just knock the shields down first. Shit. Because the other gun can't do anything while the shields are up. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, braid shoot. <laughs> Just gonna have to go for the pilot. In yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh my god! He's like the world's best pilot. That guy's incredible. They're going to be jumping real soon. the greatest starfighter pilot in the galaxy. Nice. Hey. Oh, my God. It's not even de destroyed. But, oh, shit. We're going to have to go for the shields again. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Fuck. No! Wow. They got away. Shit. Oof. And they were waiting for us at the jump point because of the snitch. Motherfuckers, with twin shields as well. Oh no. Okay, we've got to hit with both at the same time. 
Oh, we got a nerd. Here you go. You didn't need air, did you? Uh, so you have to fire, yeah, the heavy laser first, and then. And the then. Nice. And then see us again. Complicated way to do things. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? Now they're not going to be dodging. Uh, you might want to pick the shields again. Um, yeah. Nice. Got him. Uh, we've got a friend. Oh, we got the ion that we were talking about. Ion barrage. Okay. Uh, what should we do about this friend? Should we just let him tickle the cameras until he suffocates? No, go kill him. I'm screwed. Why, why screwed? Oh, shoot. Yeah, he didn't kill the... Nice. Okay. Um, have to power up the med bay for a sec. Uh, so, Monster's Lair, and it's 30 bucks. Hey, Monster's Lair. Ooh, thank you. Very they nice. They say, hey, up, lads. Hey, Good up. news. I got a job upgrade. So, I finished work early enough to catch you live. Ooh. Bad news. I start at bloody 6 a.m. Oh. Booger. <laughs> Booger, indeed. But uh, then, you know, if you're like, Done earlier. It's true. Um, and you're living like a real person. Well done. Well done. For you. Thank you, Monster Slayer. And congratulations on your upgrade. Very cool. Uh, ball bound. I think six bucks. You ball bound. And they say, Troll and Brownie. Howdy doody. Game recommendation today. Ooh. Uh, wrought flesh. Uh, it's a neat indie movement shooter in PS2 graphic style uh, everyone's doing uh, these days. Mm. But it's a lot easier to follow. Uh, and it's biopunk in a desert, which is very cool. Large open space. Wrought flesh. What is this? Uh... Mm. But it really does look like it came out on the N64. Yeah. Okay, kind of cool. Mm. Let's get out. Oh, it's in the uh, economic body horror bundle. <laughs> uh, but Cruelty Squad is in there. And oh, and so is um, Space Warlord Organ Training Trading Simulator. Amazing. Mm. Wow, actually, that sounds even more cool. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. It's a timeless classic. What was that? It was a pulsating organ. Yeah. Wow. No, stonks and gallbladders are down. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that seems very rad. Okay, uh, you, it's Sector 2. Tom, you're in command. What the heckins? Um, we got an ion cannon now, but it yeah. needs more power. Okay. So I don't know whether you want to put the weapons power up or the shield power up. It's your choice. We've got loads of money. Uh, I... I'd be tempted for the weapons because we just might run into trouble. I am also tempted by the weapons. Well, we're not a million miles away from affording the shield. I'm not going to do the shield yet. You need another weapon slot. Uh, but I think with the ion... Should probably turn the regular heavy off and use the pierce in case one of the eye, the eye misses or something, you know. It's very wise, but it takes longer. Eleven yeah, but like seconds. A second. Longer. It's nine seconds instead of eight seconds. Charge time. Yeah. Uh, the, nothing, oh, because we because we've got a, a gunner. You can see at the top, it's like um. Yeah, that's almost like, two seconds, Ben. God. I don't have that, that kind of time to wait. Uh, hail! Bad. Oh, Zoltans. Uh, Boo. Uh, well, the ion's great. Fires quickly oh, and uh, fucks, um... Yeah. Fucks Zoltan shields. Eat my ion cannon, loser. Bonk. Dunk. Ow. Oh, oh missile. I've dodged the missile anyway. Ow. My doors! Nerds. They don't have any regular shields. Fools. That's weird. Our Zoltan shield will protect us. That's smart. 
quickly to get to. Heroically Average, thank you for donating. You say, Life Sword with Tom and Terry time. How are we, lads? An average update of heroism. I've made it to Glasgow. I'm not sure I'll be sticking around. Still yet to settle since leaving Oz in Jan. Where the heck do you go if you've no real roots? Kremlin. Uh, space? Space. That's a good option. Um, yeah, I had a similar thing. I floated around a lot. I went to London, Nottingham, Cheltenham. And then I came to Bristol in the end because of a lady. Um, so that that's how I made my decision. Uh, Just kind of float around, try different places till something sticks, I guess. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Mm. I'm off to space. Space sounds great. Mm. Uh, Don't go in a uh, real cheaply made. Uh oh, hmm. we're gonna we're about to lose. Beam Master turned up. <gasps> no, Beam Master, please. Too young to be beamed. They've got <laughs> double beam. So They're the Beam Master Tom's. <laughs> what the hell? Just endlessly eye on their O2 until they all die. <laughs> oh my God, we could. <laughs> well, I'll break it and then auto fire and just. Does the iron fire faster than the shields recharge? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> you don't have to do it this way. <laughs> oh, he's got a level 202 as well, so he actually might be able to... Um... Donk. No breathing for you, sir. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> it could eventually. It's just not very good. It is not very good. I don't think we can. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to fire my laser. If we laser the shield room, so more of the ions land. Uh, but that's damage. Yeah, we only do it once. <laughs> the rooms are starting to turn pink. They're going a little bit pink. <laughs> <laughs> this is such an ignoble end for the proud beam master. But <laughs> to actually... Oh, wow, we missed uh, I think I think we're I think we're very slowly doing it. Oh, we can't if we keep missing now. Jeez. But also, like they're now on one HP. Oh yeah, you got to stop the heavy pierces about to fire. But we've nearly but got they, them. They repair it up, and they're not going to die. <laughs> they might do. If we can just hit enough times in a row without missing. Look, it's getting redder. But. It's definitely on because it's just damaged oh, now. Shit. If they didn't have a level 202, we, it might have been possible. It might have been possible. Right. Oh. <laughs> Beam Master. Turns out he was also Air Master. Yeah. So we couldn't. Master two things. Hate that. Uh, oh, let's go to a shop. What's in the shop? Uh, we're Federation, give me stuff. That will be chill. Uh, where do we get to? Mr. Human. Thank you for donating, Mr. Human. Unfunny title Ben, and less funny title Tom. Oh. Hi. Ben, since Xenonauts 2 is coming out next week, is there a chance that Lewis and Ben Save the World can be revived for a playthrough? Least funny closing message. Uh, no, Lewis is on holiday. So we won't be able to do anything with him for a few weeks. Um, but I'm playing Xenonauts 2 on my channel on Thursdays. I started last week, and I'm back again tomorrow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, although don't worry, you didn't miss anything, because I made a series of mistakes and decided to start again. So we're starting fresh after a little learning game last week. Very good. I often do in a strategy game. I'll play it for a few hours, realize yeah. I've started out, I've made all the wrong moves in the beginning. Yeah, when you've got a better idea. Um, yeah, of how the game works and what's important. So this will be the real run. Starting tomorrow, we'll go for weeks till we win or lose. Uh, how do you feel about wave assaulting with a crew teleporter? 
I mean, I love crew teleporters. I'd say 90% of my wins are done with a crew teleporter. Well, that, if, if Ben's winning with it, that means it must be good. <laughs> but I, I do kind of want to maybe do something different for once. <laughs> oh. But fuck it. Who's that or purple dude? Purple dude. It's a crystal. Well, a crystal's good at boarding? Less damage in combat. Oh, but they do lock people out of rooms. Yeah. Which is kind of good. I'm going to buy Maxwell. Who's Maxwell? Well, Maxwell is actually... Uh, who is Maxwell? Mr. Human. <laughs> Great. Okay, monsters lair. Oh, I like that the is right next to our. That's pretty handy. Our Helatron. Okay. Fuck it. Give me power. Okay, let's save these positions. Bonk. And then we can take one out of um, healing and put it into engines. Uh, that would be smarter. Thank you, Mr. Human. Uh, Docs has donated. Thank you, Docs888. Custom made undead behemoth Tom and magnifying goggles wearing undead crafter Ben. Today I am successfully defended my MA thesis, making me a master necromancer. Thanks for all the fun years. Would you like a little necromancy or your chromancy? Sure. Tell yeah. me more. What did you really get your thesis in? What have you mastered? Oh shit, they've got a PS gun. Pierce Michelle. We can just gun their, their gun room. We've got a PS gun, we can just go straight in. Uh, Tell me more, Docs. Tell me about your. Ooh. Your chromancy. I need to get out of there. Yep. Escarpe. See ya. You can take one out of O2 as well. Stick that into healing. Uh, but look how much air. Yeah, you're right. We don't need that. English philology, specializing in culture, media, translation. Ah, yes. Classic. Mm, yeah. I too enjoy that. Mm, I thought about doing that. But I like, yeah, me too. But I was just worried it was such like a saturated field. Mm, um, mm. The, what more could I add? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hasn't already been. Mm. No. What's going on with that person? Oh, we've got a, a global heal. Oh, I love that. Oh, have we? Oh, I thought he was like irradiated or something. Well, we had some kind of global heal. Or maybe it was irradiated. Do we have some kind of healo thing? Uh, no. no. Uh, right, do you guys want to come home? How many times have you accidentally jumped without bringing your boys home. Oh, it's happened. <laughs> it's happened, man. It's, Can't say it's never happened. It's not zero. <laughs> yeah. I could definitely, uh, definitely commit to that. Yeah, same here. <laughs> uh, so this is necromancy or your chromancy. Don't look at chat. Ancient Greeks would dismember a corpse to prevent its spirit from appearing. Gabriel of Nottingham is now an enemy. I didn't read the text. <gasps> we boarded the ship. They're now a bad person. Fuck you, Gabriel. Why? Gabriel, you fucking traitor. Traitor of Earth. Right, we're sending Monsters Lair and Mr. Human in just to fucking put you down. Right, like train the, up their muscles. Like the dog you are. Okay. Uh, right, so is this true or false? Ancient Greeks would dismember a corpse to prevent its spirit from appearing, not because it weakened it, but because the spirit felt too ashamed to show themselves in such a sorry state. Oh, I can believe that. Because the ghost looks like the corpse, I guess. Yeah. Um, or a medieval necromancy, necromancer from Germany claimed to have summoned a shit demon and had it kill people he didn't like by drowning them in outhouses. I think... That one is definitely true. There's no way the poop one isn't true. The poop story, if there's one thing I know about your hammer or law hammer. Always bet on shit. Yeah, you're almost always right with the poop based story. So let's do that. We're going to go with Germany man. Let us know. Uh, right, I'm pulling someone out of engines. That would suck if your ghost looks like it did when it died. 
You know, because like some people look fine. They just like died peacefully or whatever. And other people are like, what happens if you get like exploded by an artillery? Yeah, you just bits. Yeah, you just, which bit is you? Where you were like a pile of bits that roll around together. God. Doesn't make any sense. They're both true. Oh, <laughs> you see, you're not supposed to do that. You get one. You're allowed one. Chat used it up. No one else can do that now. Oh, yeah. Uh, the rebels have taken the orchid ship, which was trying to return the outpost. Thank you, Docs. That was fun. We won't stand for this. What if you were eaten by a bear? Would your ghost be in the shape of a bear poop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. It's the only, only logical answer. Okay, right. Turns out Monster's Lair is a traitor now. What? Why have we got so many traitors today? <laughs> mm. I don't like this at all. Oh, wait. We can just fire that, can't we? Oh, fuck. God, it turns out Monster's Lair is a bit of a fucking... bit of a fucking killer. Well, at least we've got them, the locked doors. Oh, Monster's Lair's back to normal. We can heal him up. Great. Get in there. We should definitely get the extra power slot on the guns. To get all of them going at once. Yeah. Yeah, I do have the cash now. Uh, it's fine, we'll be boarding them soon enough. Right, get in there and kick some butt. Nice. No gun fixing for you, sir. Hey! Quit it! Can you not? Just come on. Be chill. Uh. Hey! No. Ooh! Heavy kernel? What is that? Like some kind of nut gun. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. That would be my guess. <laughs> Where's the gnome? Oh, no. Uses kernels, it's giant missiles. It's not bad. They have a 35% to not use ammo. And three base hull damage, double damage to systemless rooms. I don't think we're going to be using it. They do three system damage, though. That's pretty good. Like that but that's like shield. a... Like a standard gun, right? Oh, because it does three damage. Because it yeah, does three damage. Of course. It does 45 crew damage. It's nice. It's plowing that, like, one missile in to soften them up before we go in. Could be good. Not terrible. You know, hit their med bay before we beam in. Ooh. Okay. We've got more gun available. Uh... Plus, we have, do have 22 missiles. That's a lot of missiles! Uh, I need to be getting just out of here. Uh, LT King, thank you for donating. TMB, last week I mentioned that I fought Gene Steeler Cox as Necrons. I lost my Void Dragon to 12 mortal wounds in under two turns and melted a Jackal squad with 30 plus wounds from one immortal Tesla unit on turn one. Wow. Holy shit. 30 wounds from one squad. That's insane. How did you get mortal wounded so bad on your Void Dragon? Because Team Steeler Cults don't kick out a lot of mortal wounds. Um, I don't know. Tell me more. I, I do always love that that imagery of the Gene Steeler Cultist rising up. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, brothers! The day of ascension, and they're getting power drills, like <laughs> yeah. caches of like stolen, just like assault rifles. Mm -hmm. And then they go up and they're fighting a literal eldritch god. <laughs> yeah. From 47 million years ago. And they're like, I'm carrying a lamppost with some concrete. That thing's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> yeah. uh, just seems. And the personification of death. Comes yeah. <laughs> You're them. like. In the pamphlets, <laughs> not 
not what I signed up for. <laughs> I mean, I do love the four-armed emperor, but... <laughs> but that thing, real fucking spooky. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Uh, the dirt bikes throw explosives every time they move. Uh, and he had three squads of them. So we just got like mad maxed by 30 dirt bikes. <laughs> All lobbing satchel charges at oh him. Oh my god, sounds terrifying. It's pretty cool. Oh, do we want to hit the med bay? Yeah. Oh, well, we did hit it. Oh, we might be ready to. Oh, well, we need to heal the boys. My sweet boys. But I think if I can get, I think I can risk it. Oh, okay, we killed one of them. Pilot, wait, is Pilot gonna board us? Yep, <laughs> apparently, that's all right. Just um, beam over, finish them off. We can come back to the pilot later. It's gonna take him a while to break through, isn't it? Okay. Just um, base race him. I do love a good base race. Uh, I might just plink them in the guns once, but that's the last shot we're firing. You can always move like Shield Boy over to guns to like. Yeah, help out. Help out. Yep, we're, we're winning this base race. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. They base raced poorly. Oh, he went back. Oh, he went home. Fool. Oh, God, that is not the scene you want to come back to. Ooh. Recycler module? Sure. Whatever that is. It's probably just worth some money. Um, so someone was saying we can free up an augment slot by... Uh, one of our items can be, like, integrated into the ship and not take a slot anymore. That sounds like... That sounds like a, a Ben turn thing. To do. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I can do a distress and then I can exit. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we are super low on fuel, though. I did not realize that. Oh, how. shit. Uh, plant people. The pirates have returned to destroy us. Well, come on. That's right. He won't destroy it. Hopefully. Let's just beam in right now. Oh, he's coming to us. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, Should probably knock out the mind control. Yeah. I can do that. What are that guns like? Not awful. Uh, tonk. Perfect. He's mega disarmed. I can't remember, are plant boys good in combat? These ones are not terrible. Yeah, jeez. Oh, I think we have to, have to run. Beam them out, Scotty. We're good. Jeez. God, good thing he hit their weapons. Like, our shields have been down for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize how good that guy was going to be up punching it. Uh, we can plink them. I don't think we need to. Oh, the mind control. Shit. We do need to plink that. Finish them off. That's what you get. We weren't pirates, but we are murderers. <laughs> so, uh... so, sucks to be you, I guess. Yeah. Take this. Wow. And what do we think of the plant, boys? Pow. Uh, nice. Three fuels. Exactly what I wanted. Solipus has donated. Oh, thank you, Solipus. Thank you, Solipus. Uh, ahoy, TMB. Ahoy. Recently been playing Total Warhammer 2, Legions of Nagash mod. If you two are looking for something to revitalize Total War, I'd recommend it. It's got little Nagash with his stupid hat and Krell as a playable lord and a new army roster. That's very fun. Which one's better, though? Because we've been recommended the same one for Warhammer 3. Which one's the good one? What? Is it the same on both? 
I guess the map setup's different. Does he have his own quest? That's something I really want. I don't want to just conquer 50 territories. I want a cool little objective. Oh, wow. Everyone fights today. Full attack. Oh, shit, the planet's shooting at me. Oh, yikes. Well, they won't last long with the whole squad there. But the Lanius is draining the air. Oh, my God, you oh. need to run. We all need to run. Uh, we should get air back pretty soon. Oh, you have to take the pyramid to turn into Big Nagash. Oh, that, that makes sense. I like that. But if it's all based in Kemri, then may as well play it on Warhammer 2. If you don't need a three map, do you? That's true. Uh, Rex Territory, or do you want... Oh, no idea. There's a sale on in the Rex Territory. Who doesn't love a bargain? That sounds perfect. Uh, abandoned Sector. Sure. Whatever. Whatever. Can we use our emergency oh. manual to make fuel? Can we, like... Oh, you do that before the battle, right? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, oh you <laughs> Great. There you go. Uh, cool. Well, yeah, you take the wheel. Okay. Crook can need a little heal. Um... Uh, Mr. Tinkles. It's three bucks. Hey, Mr. Tinkles. Mr. Tinkles. They say, hello, Blue Beetle and Blue Balls. Oh. Uh, question for you, Tom. You always get all snooty about dice that stupidly limit themselves to geometric shapes as if geometry never did anything for you oh uh what are examples of non-geometric dice Ooh. uh also hi tom ben uh do i get snooty about <laughs> dice that don't limit themselves to geometry shapes i never noticed that about you is there Give me one example of when that happened. The squig dice. Well, they're close enough to like a cube, right? But you love the squig dice. And I do like the... the uh, that. Like, I'm, a, I'm very, very pro cube, cube dice. That's top tier. Uh, then all of polyhedrals are... All the others are down one tier from that. And the uh, D4 is like... Oh, the D4 is the worst dice. Not a big fan of it. I'll take an irregular rhomboid over a D4 any day of the week. Uh, Blob-shaped dice. Um, well, if you just... If I can tab for one second, okay. I'll show you a... Uh, the... What are they called? Polyhero dice. So there's these dice which are like all. Uh, they're more like tumblers than dice, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. Like you know, when does a dice stop being a dice? Because um, a a spinner that ain't no dice. No. But I think these kind of things are cool. I like I like this sort of. Oh, I hate the hammer. For the D4, yeah. Some of these not the the best design. <laughs> right. I mean, I like, yeah. Some of these are cool. Uh, or dice that you don't roll. It's just a screen that tells you what the roll is. Well, that I don't think that's a dice, really. Mm. You know, part of the fun of a dice is, you know, getting to roll it. Yeah, I like to roll a dice. I don't like to drop a dice. Mm. So I guess, it, you know, everyone's got their own their own takes on, on dices. And I think that's okay. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it's not important. <laughs> dice are very important, <laughs> Ben. Uh, how's the good fight going? Oh, we just dinged. Oh, ding, that's great. Mr. Human has got better at punching other humans. Very good. Oh, we're going to have to come home for a heal, though. Uh, See ya, but also get shot. Ooh, oh, I missed. Too slow. But, get him a little hole. Let's get in the... Uh... Ow! Oh, we did it! Oh, they almost lasered him good. Ooh, that was rude. Uh, How dare you. Uh, uh, snooze a fool. So it's eight bucks. Thank you, snooze a fool. And they said BN and TM, but as in the trademark. 
Mm. Uh, I bought a 3D printer months ago, and after many hours of sadness, it's finally mostly working. Hey, that's what I'm scared of. After yeah, that. just all the time investment on just learning. Mm. Uh, here are my new Terminators and some unfinished ones. Ooh. By the way, Demon Souls could be fun if you could get a PS5 in, perhaps. Uh, I've never played Demon's Souls. I've never Souls, played Demon's Souls. I am But interested. I literally had a copy of it turn up to the office today. What? Because uh, it was on sale on Amazon. It's like 50% off. And oh, wow. And I was like, I always wanted to play it. Have you got um, a, a PS5? Yeah, I do have one. Wow. I do have a PlayStation 5. Cool. Um, and I okay. still haven't played Demon's well, we Souls. We could try it out. Right, we've got a lot of fixing to do. So while we wait for that, um, let's have a look at your 3D printed models. Uh, these look ace, and they're painted really nicely. Um, Ooh, yeah, they look great. Kind of wish you just sent us that first picture where everyone's based and fully painted. Can Love we get like, a new tab so I can like zoom in a bit? Because those are that, that is pictures for ants. Very uh, neat. Oh yeah, very cool. Pretty cool. I really like that shade of red. Mm. Uh, did I even put a link? It's almost pink. It's almost pink, but link. Sorry, very pale. Have a link. I like it. But yeah, I, I'm in into it. All right, we took a lot of damage there. What happened? Um, they just kept like bursting with flak and charge cannon and drones, and then sometimes they'd fix it and then suddenly get us before we could knock it yeah, down. Yeah, God, like that's that was an up, up gun ship. Yeah. So we are gonna. Gonna have to spend some on repairs in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to a shop. Makes sense. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hi, hello, howdy, how do you do? Please buy my things. I can't see my family again until I meet my quota. <laughs> Yikes. Do you um, want yeah. some uwu points? We didn't do that last time. What Remember? is uwu? Is that I've where got, the, we get the quest? I've got no idea, but last time we did not. Uwu point. Okay, what is an uwu point? Oh wow, that's seven hundred bucks. Stick to three. <laughs> sure, can't afford that. Uh, setting up your account, you get one uwu point for free every time you visit a hectare marketplace. Collect your uwu point before you shop. Collect four points, and you'll be entered into our customer reward program. The slug transfers over a uwu point for your account. Now go buy something or get lost. Hey, there are a load of these shops. Do you want to try and do that in this sector? Get all the uwu points. Sure. Um, something into missiles. Don't really need yeah. that. Um, uh, there you go. What have you got? Clone bait. Uh, makes this harder to hit for. Orbital guns. Yeah. Got an emergency landing repair module. Uh, uh, what are the guns? If you can get something that just does system damage. We've got a light laser. It's a particle beam. Just two system damage. Oh, it's a beam that only does system damage. Might not be terrible. Yeah. Okay. Energy weapons that can disable systems while also causing hull damage. Oh, so it's an ion that also does damage. Okay. Almost on page three. Uh, oh, God, mods. Oh. An ion that can be modded. Right. It does three ion. What is that? Beam efficiency, missile, laser effect. Three ion is good. And then if you buff that... Laser beam missile. Does that count as a laser? Two times damage on systemless rooms, so that doesn't really help. No, we don't want to hole bust them. Hmm. Charge time 17.5 seconds compared to our thing that is five. That beam could be fun, because if you can eye on, hmm. you take down a shield and then you beam through the shield room, that will do a damage. And then you on again, because then you can be lasering the guns, but it's 19 seconds charge time, which is fucking 
That's long. insane. That's too long. How long's 80, though? Is that going to cut like half their ship? But the light laser, actually, I think could be. Could they don't really have the slots for it, though. You can sell the kernel gun. I kind of like it. I want to use it. I think next time I'm just going to like hit their shields with it immediately. Well, you don't have to. You can just hit the, their gun and then TP into the gun room. That's true. I yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to buy any of this stuff. I'm going to repair. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, uh, I'm going to get some fuel. And I'm going to save my money. I'm going to get another shield instead. Yeah. Do you want to sell? Do we have any other junk in the, the tank? Uh, no, not that. There's a thing. Oh. Well, God, it's kind of too much, isn't there? Yeah, that menu is a bit... It's a lot of clicks. Um, there's a way to install the thing that we've got. I can't remember how to do it. Someone in chat was trying to tell me. Oh, you get a free onboard lab because you've got the level 2 med bay, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that lets you buff the crew. Oh. What does neural intuition do? Oh god, you can uh, you can read. I'll read as well. Uh, that John kid in his ten bucks. Seen that John kid? Thank you. He's a Tom and Ben on a mountain of skulls in a castle of pain. I sat at my desk and I painted this Vigo mini. Uh, I had to build him in Hero Forge for my Ghostbusters RPG campaign. Ooh. Drop me off if you can. Now is the season of Kremlo. Every season is the season of Kremlo. Uh, oh my god, that guy looks ace. Wow, oh, bad. Cool. The bad picture Ghostbusters man. Ah. Super cool. I like that you're doing a Ghostbusters campaign. That's really fun. Oh no. <laughs> what? I bought a cheap thing because it was cheap. I didn't oh. realize we only have one, and now we can never upgrade it again. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> <laughs> that was unclear. Okay. Oh, well. well, just still checking the store. Do we have anything else that we can sell? Oh, I thought we might have something in the tank. We can sell the recycler. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Just makes missiles. We've got 23 missiles. Sure. And you can always buy another energy because you might need it with the power. Yeah. Bonk. All right, we can get our shield up. Definitely need that second shield. We left it a bit late. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can chain go to all the. Oh the shots. man, we're gonna max out our uwu card. Do it. Oh fuck, that's not good boarding. Oh, we're not boarding this guy at all. But you can fucking actually just burst them down, right? Uh, oh. Emergency manual. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, well, that's quite expensive for fuel, isn't it? It's only three. Maybe yeah. we should be doing it though, because we've got five fuel. God, I bought fuel. Did we just lose some? I bought like four fuel. I thought we had ten. I'm very confused. Oh, well. Uh, right, well, we're going to turn off the ion cannon, buy the missile launcher, and just... Wait, but you can just ion... Ion and pierce. God, that's pretty, that's pretty shooty. Um, and then if you ion their shield, and then pierce their shield, and yeah, then if shoot they both their hit. gun... Oh. Ow. Wow. Uh, fuck breathing, I guess. Oh, it's not enough. Wait, no. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, we got him. Oh my god. Uh, no. Fucking die. Assholes. Okay. Um, oh god! One of them beamed aboard! Get him. Yeah, well, don't worry. We've got people who are trained in this kind of thing. We got folks for these jokes. Uh, they are going to need to breathe. We are just going to have to like wave assault this breach. Nice. Uh, a DM called Ethan. I think it's ten bucks. Thank you. Thank you. They say turn up and bomb out. That's us. 
I painted a thing. Ooh. Uh, I wanted to ask what your favorite IRL use of a Kragnos rock is. Mm. Mine is when you've just gone to the loo and you put your foot on a nearby chair or basket so you can wipe like a space marine. I have done that. <laughs> and that is a good a good use of... I've never done that. Have you not? Oh, God. Like you Just like get it up and you can really... <laughs> really get in there. Really get in there. Wow. Um, so he heroic. Dynamic. Uh, I don't know. I feel like, you know, like a, like an old, well, not even old timey, like a farmer. If I have the opportunity, yeah. if I'm talking to someone and we're next to like a railing or something, mm -hmm. if I can just put my foot up on something, <laughs> even if it's just going up like a few inches. Yeah, because you're not tall enough already. <laughs> and I just like to, not like climb on it, just put one foot up and just, <laughs> yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Always good. Nice. Um, I like that. Who is this uh, undead spike face boy? Like, mm, pretty rare. Pretty they've got a six-legged horse. Ooh. I like their, their helmet a lot. Mm. What is that? I don't know. Is it must be a 3D print, I guess. <laughs> I forgot that I said that at the um called Dathan. Uh yeah, undead. Dead boy. Very very rad. Oh shit. This is some serious biznatch. That doesn't... Well, they're going to board us with two guys. We kill yep. those. And then we... Counter we missile there. Missile is now worthwhile. Oh, not the O2. Just, um... I need to soften them up. Two Mantis is too much. I don't know. You'll fight, fight boys. Oh, don't take that route. <laughs> don't mind me. God, mate. <laughs> You absolute dingus. Bonk. Get nutted. Nut. These <laughs> nuts. Uh, Alright, I need to get healing. And then... Can you... I just nut their nut shields. The med bay? Oh, the shields. Oh, God, but that med bay when all three of them went in. Yeah, that was pretty tasty. Ooh, they're going to give us a slug boy. I want their slug boy. Sure. Um, what's slug boy's name? They are a DM called Ethan. So maybe just DM Ethan. Dem Ethan. Dem Ethan. <laughs> uh, yeah, he can, we need an engine boy, even though he's a good fisto. Uh, Not as good as the other two. Uh, Butthoofer, doing his five bucks. Thank you, Butthoofer. Thank you, Butthoofer. And they say, hi, boys. Howdy. Always a joy to catch y'all live. Here's my latest mini, a Death Guard Demon Prince. Ooh. That I altered a little. I hope you enjoy, and as always, Worship Frog. Worship Frog. And it's they like donated please. again because they said, Gah, I forgot the link. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Uh, let me give that a post. He's pretty cool. Is he armed with... The Lantern. <gasps> yeah, that is Mortarian's Mega Pistol. It's pretty, pretty rad. Mm. He's yellow. Oh, he's pretty cool. I like the one wing, yeah. honestly. I'm into that. I was that. just thinking that. I like non-symmetrical demons. Yeah. Yeah, because in all of the uh, infinite sort of mutiness, mm. they're not always going to be symmetrical, are they? No, not one bit. Uh, there's nothing fun in this shop. It's the extra multipits. What do you arm him with if he doesn't have the... the you... plasma pistol? Hmm. What goes in that hand? I don't know. Maybe there's just like a hand and he's got like a holster? Oh, uh, sure. Don't know. You want to be able to use him for winged and non-winged. Ah, that is perfect. Smart. So if someone's like, oh, is that a flying demon? You're like, he's only got one wing. <laughs> yeah. And someone's like, oh, is he... Well, he's on foot. Is he? Uh, no, no, he's clearly got a wing. He's he's got he's got a wing. <laughs> yeah. It's just really strong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. Got all your bases covered. Makes a lot of sense. 
very smart. You're playing both sides, so you end up on top. Uh, pow. So here's my plan. Wear down that Zoltans. Oh, they're just yeah. all piss ghosts. Oh, shit, you lost your... I just charged that missile up special. Mm. Uh, then we can beam over. No, you can't. Oh, I can't. There's no O2. God. Yeah, because you won't be back in time. Dagnam. Uh, Yogg's Quest fan donates five Ooh, bucks. Hello. Wow, thank you, Yogg's Quest fan. They say, Tob and Beb, first time donator, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm really here to ask where Yogg's Quest stuff is. Hmm. I know it's hard to get people together, um, but I would willingly donate to a monthly Patreon for Tom DMing a campaign of any system oh. with Ben as a player, please. Wouldn't that be a thing? That'd be crazy if that was a thing. Imagine if someone did that. Wow. Yeah, but people wouldn't, you know, support a thing like that monthly, so it could could be a thing. I bet they would, Tom. I, I bet if you worked real hard and got all your Yogg's friends to play D&D &D with you, people would want to see that. But I don't know if I'd be playing D&D. &D. We'd be playing, you know, things like Call of Cthulhu, you know, uh, oh, that's Star Wars better. game, you know, some of the Warhammer games. Wow. Morkborg. Like, I, Morkborg could be a great thing. I want to see that. When are we playing Morkborg? I don't think you could get a whole range of different Yogg's cast members all turning up. All my and, favorites. And taking part and playing in it. Oh, it's just a dream. Just a stupid, sexy dream. Maybe one day if we're maybe all very good. Maybe if you're very well behaved, then maybe. Um, uh, Not that well behaved, Tom. Yeah, well, we'll see. When they can start being well behaved. Mm-hmm. It might happen. Um, Fingers crossed. Uh, so it's not happening. <laughs> and a Shouty Lewis. Okay. Uh, just just give it a, while to die. a couple of a couple of weeks, and then maybe uh, who knows. Possible. Anything's possible. Who knows? I'm going to upset you and move the mouse just because <gasps> otherwise I'm going to. La gasp. Uh, do it. Uh, right, we've got three more uwus to collect. <clears throat> uh, ooh. Collect your uwu point. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting much money though because we keep going to uwu points. Yeah. So like fighting. Um. And I'm spending a lot of money on fixing. We're taking a fair bit of damage recently. Oh well. We're committed now. It's it's gonna pay off. Collect your uwu point. Uh, you actually have four points. Ooh. Do you have brain damage? <laughs> Why would you visit so many stores? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Congratulations. Here's a shiny key to the Hectar Mega Market. Something something will waive all liability or whatever. Uh, they spent some special coordinates to the Atlas. You can travel there during any jump sector before the Federation capital. Oh. Well, that's exciting. We better save up some more money before we go to the mega store. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What's that? What is the deconstructor? You can turn drone parts into scrap. Oh. It might, it, hmm, it, that might pay off, because we've still got four, five sectors to go. If we just drain off our drone parts every jump, it's an investment. I don't know how much you get per part. Fuck it, do it. I'll have to sell something. Because uh, if we're boarding... This emergency metal is shit. Yeah, we're not really doing that. Um. Because uh, boarding, we get a lot of gubbins. Yeah. I mean, we haven't yet because of all the fucking oo-woos. <laughs> but we could do. Uh, do something aboard the ship. Use an augment. Recycle. So Woo! Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's paying off. Uh, how many jumps have we got? One, two, three... Four. 
One, two, yeah. three, four. Nice. We need some more fuel again. Yeah. Just to fucking attack him. Or do you want to attack them? Kind of do, because we need the money. Got a missile launcher. But fuck it. Uh, we've upset the Engi. Well, oh, fine. you know. It's going to uh, happen. I was going to cloak. Oh, and a defense drone. Oh, okay. no. Bored. Oh, shit. Not bored. They're not good at fighting. We yeah. can punch them. Punch them good. It's just the med bay is the problem. Yeah, hopefully we can get some guns on it. Before the, uh, oh, it's, he's got, they've got the med bot dispersal, haven't they? Of course they have. That's fine. Okay. Just need the med bay to go down. The ion. Ion hit. Uh, yes. Let's pierce that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not enough. Shit. Wait for the second round of the ion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Still not down. Jeez. Uh, there it is. Okay, so we hit the med bay. And the shield again? Oh, shit. Oh, he cloaked it. You're winning the combat. Yeah. Pretty decisively now. Now that yeah. the healing's gone off. Amazing. Okay, we got this. Yeah. Just one boy left. Uh, yep. You might need to still take out their weapons or something because they are still shooting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, now that our weapons are stunned, we don't have the firepower. Uh, if you put the regular heavy laser in, oh, God, well, then you could have fired the piercing one after and plinked the, shield, uh, the weapons. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a lot of money. Got him. Nice. Oof. Okay, this is this is getting hard. Uh, yeah, it does seem more complicated. Complicado. Uh, the boss rabbit donates five bucks. Need the boss rabbit. Thank you. And they say, "Psychic Awakening Tom and Door Kicker Ben, if you could be reincarnated as an animal, which would it be?" Um, uh, like, like house cat seems pretty fucking good. Someone's just gonna feed you and yeah. give you a warm, dry place to sit when you want to, but you can go off and do whatever you like. But you get your balls snipped. Oh, not always. Maybe you're really spinning that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you're really, really spinning that wheel I on. Think, I think they've got like some some good shit going on. They got a good deal. House cat does seem. Pretty legit. It's better than like being hunted for sport. That's true. A giant tortoise that doesn't get eaten. Ah, yeah, but good. do I have my brain in this animal? Hmm, because that would get frustrating. Just not moving ever. Like, yeah. The animal brain would be an upgrade. Thanks. Ah, ha, ha, I fucking got you, Tom. Uh. Oh, I was about to beam over like an idiot. Can't do that. Maybe a tortoise would be have better at this. Being op as a human, as a house cat. Okay. Hmm. Fair. Uh, oh god, shield. All weapons. Boom. Just take with bleeding health every time. And we're getting yeah. less scrap than we normally would. Just getting plinked. Yeah. You'd like to be like Tusk. I don't want to be like Tusk. <laughs> Who Tusk? Uh, What's the guy called in it? Kevin Smith made it. It's where he turns Justin Long into a walrus. Wow, I've not seen or heard of that film. Have you not? That's wild. Um, sure, I mean, I believe it. It's... Uh, I, I won't bring it on the main screen. Um, but I'll just show you. Just because it's a bit grisly. But he... He gets like operated on to turn him into a walrus. Oh wow! Walrus Holy man. shit! It's pre <laughs> pretty pretty gross. 
It's so weird. To what end? So it's based on uh, supposedly Kevin Smith. They were browsing Craigslist or something at some point, mm -hmm. and they saw like a request, but it's like story, and it's based on this Craigslist advert mm -hmm. of someone being like, "I was a, a Arctic explorer who was shipwrecked, mm -hmm. and for like a year or something, I was stuck." like in the wilderness okay. and my only contact was of this walrus yeah and so he was my best friend he was my best friend and then <laughs> they came back uh to civilization but they couldn't had never like rekindled that with anyone and so they wanted to pay someone to come and dress up and pretend to be a walrus in their house for like one hour a day uh <laughs> And it was nothing like sexual. They didn't have to do sex. They just had not to. Not yet. <laughs> not yet, at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you're in the walrus suit, you can't really fight back. Um, and, wow. Uh, then they made the movie that was based on. Uh, right. Holy shit. Don't that, take a nap in Walrus House. You'll oh, wake oh, up with extra bits attached. Which doesn't sound super good. Oh. Uh, oh, God. Supplies. Okay, fine. Hold up. Hmm. Uh... Oh, we're in Crystal Land. So I don't know how we go to the um, Uwu shop because he said we can go there anytime we want. Hmm. Uh... Is it one of these? Uh, we can upgrade our Slug Boy, but it's probably not worth it. We can get one. Oh, is it uh, rather than recruit some unique crew? You cannot use an orc. Okay, sure. Oh, you do it in between sectors. I see. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Well. Okay. We'll have a look at it after this. Hopefully, oh, we'll have some money left. It's good and hard in here, but not for rocks. Oh, um, oh. the. We've got to use the thing to eat our drones. Oh. Uh, we need better guns. Yeah. You can use the Colonel. It's a, quite a good alpha strike at the start. Just hitting their weapons. Okay, turn the iron off. Yeah, you can do it. Get back into it. No, we lost all the charge. Yeah. Oh, I can't turn it off. Why? I think because the... Oh, shit, we need to get the borders into the shields to put out the fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God, I... this, is like, this is fucking GG. Yeah, I think we die here, don't we? Oh, yeah, take it easy. Yeah, head out, TJ. Have a good night. You too. This isn't uwu at all. We're about to get missiled. Ow. That's bad. Shields down, Captain. And everything's going to catch fire. Give them the nut. Well, that's fine if that room catches fire. Ow. This fucking sucks. Okay. Oof. Oh, not you. God, not you, Johnny Slugman. Okay, let's just fucking yump. What do you think we got this? <laughs> we don't got this. <laughs> we don't got this at all. Oof. <clears throat> Um, let's attack. <laughs> that thing looks tougher than the end boss. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, should we sell some shit? Oh, wait. What is this? What do these things do? What? 
What am I looking at? It's a beam. Hull damage, system damage. Really long. Damage. 100% breach chance. That's pretty good. Bomb launcher. I'm stronger than common bombs. Yeah, 100% breach and stun. I mean, we can't afford any of this because we have to repair the hull. That thing's kind of better than the other thing, but we can't repair the hull here. It's not the right kind of place. Shit. We could sell some of our other guns if we wanted to get some of these mega guns. Uh, shots per charge. It's three shots for two power. Yeah, pretty good. It is a lot better. But it's so expensive. It is so expensive. I kind of don't hate that. Payload bomb is great. Because you're going to do four damage to a system. Yeah. You're going to mess up the crew. You're going to breach and stun anyone in there. Also, it doesn't hurt the hull a lot. Yeah. I think ditch selling the, that. Ditch the nut cannon. And then buy the payload and then just hope we can fix our hull somewhere. <laughs> We're fucked. This is... Super bad. Oof. Gotta power it up. There's no power to med bay yet. There's a crystal store. I don't think we can get there in time without fighting those rock boys again. No, we can go there and there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. It's safe. We use up fuel. But <laughs> anything is better. Uh, right, let's move that down. Hmm, this feels bad. Um, it does feel bad. Thordak Tinder King has donated. Thank you. Hail. Hail, giant of the southeastern West Midlands, first among toms, warden of the many-sided dice, lord protector of the Indies, supreme chancellor of the Imperial Senate, chosen of Kragnos, shatterer of chairs, strong tom. Also, Ben, may your pearls be shiny. Thank you. I got the big name this time. He remembered me. <laughs> you were remembered. I'm in the message, Tom. You did it. Uh, Change, do, oh, did we not sell our things again? No. Well, it's... We can do a last-minute hull repair for an extra hull point. Oh, shit, we could have, actually. Oh, well. Here, let's hope the payload's worth the price we paid. Can we survive for 12 seconds? Right, we can just throw the crew in because their guns will charge up slower. Yeah, okay, do that. Delay them with our bodies. And then beam a bomb into the room when they all go in there to fight us. Yeah. Yeah, it's not feeling great, is it? Start running now. God, they already just had the shit beaten out of them. Payload. 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 Run back in? Yeah, but we are dead if we go back in. But Okay, run to another room, because they're quite slow at chasing us. We can probably uh, Benny Hill them until the thing's back online. Okay, do not totally turn off everything. Ow. Ooh! We was plinked. We got plinked. What the fuck even was that? Asteroid. That's a bad day to be a Tom and Bun. <laughs> oh, we got asteroided. Shit. <laughs> we didn't even need the rock men. Oh, we still live. Oh, we got one boy left in a dream. <laughs> if they can hide. <laughs> oh. Uh. Fucking, oh man, asteroids. Wow. Shit. Oof. Yeah, oh, that's God. our worst run yet. Yeah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Rage quit. Quit straight to desktop. Oof. Wow. Well, thank you, Saisk, for donating 16 bucks. Well, thank you, Saisk. 
Says Tom Ben, keep it up, thanks. Psych. 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 We got Royal Fighters. Says Tommy Boy and Benny Boy. Hello. I'm typically a vodka boy, but I've recently started watching more and more streams. And you two are typically my favorite to watch. Time to light speed away. Ooh. I want to be a space person. Oh, I'm sorry, Royal Fighters. You you don't want to be on that ship. Uh oh. Everyone's dead. You'd have had a bad time. Yeah. Yeah, geez. Um, Jeremy, thank you for donating 20 bucks. Very generous. Wow, Jeremy, thank you. Hi, Tom and Ben. You designed me a tattoo five years ago. It looks good, but people think a toddler drew it. Also, I made some Gasland stuff. <laughs> this link had better have a picture of your fucking amazing tattoo. Is this the... Like the little zombie? Um... I'm not sure they've done some cool Gasland stuff, though. Oh, that stuff looks rad. I like the shipping containers. I like yeah. your gates. Oh, that's some cool terrain. Looking super duper cool. Oh, I kind of wanted to see your tattoo, though. You can't just talk about a tattoo and then not put it in the picture. Is it? Are you still here? Is it that? What? Did, I don't remember you drawing a tattoo. No, I think I'd met them at some convention maybe like an insomnia or something like that mm -hmm. and we did like a signing and they asked me to draw a picture and then i think when uh you were at yogcon they were like oh what well, do, you, do you like my tattoo and like i didn't remember drawing the picture but i was like that looks a lot like my style of drawing. <laughs> and they were like, you drew this. And I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, so I do remember the, oh. if it's that, if it's something else, holy moly's. Um, How many tattoos have you drawn? Well, at the time, I didn't think I even knew that it was going to be a tattoo. Uh, I think they just were like, can you do me like a doodle? Swindled you. And got free tattoo art Tattoo done. art's expensive, yeah. man. You got conned. What the heck? They stole your labor. Oh my god. Um, it's time to seize the means of production. Yeah, I can turn up and like skin you. Skin that bit. <laughs> that belonged to Tom now. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Jabby. Uh, Smith V has also donated and says, Hi, Trom and Bren. Love you guys. Whatever happened to that game of Pulp Cthulhu you teased on Twitter a few months ago, Tom? Your tabletop games are always my favourites. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, it just got delayed. Okay, it coming. Ethereal. Who knows? I'll maybe. never tell. Ooh, maybe. Uh, assuming everything goes right, keep an eye out for the last weekend of this month, oh. as stuff should be hopefully launching then but depending on what happens it might be like another month but it'll be coming soon, soon. do not worry uh, mega harold has donated what show am i describing religious fanaticism fascism genocide crime climfield hollow booths Worf randomly kills important characters O'Brien gets horribly tortured and plays with tiny toys. A main character does a literal terror attack for politics. Ooh, that could be anything. Is um, it literal wharf? I'm going to say Lower Decks. Oh. Because I've seen an episode of Lower Decks where they have to clean the loads out of the holodeck. Oh. Okay, well, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Someone has to. <laughs> but. Like, people don't even wipe down their gym equipment when they're finished sweating on it. That's true. I don't feel like, you know, post holodeck Riker is going to mop everything up. No, he's a fucking commander. He's got three dots. <laughs> yeah. Do you get one of the fucking you know spots means? to come in? Yeah. <laughs> it means I don't clean cum. That's what this means. <laughs> yeah. um, and that's what Lower Decks is about, is the spots, right? And so, yeah, that does make sense. But I feel like, you know, in the far future of Star Trek, mm -hmm. you know, oh, we've grown beyond the need for money and we don't care if you're fucking bald. Yeah. I imagine those people clean up their own cum. 
oh, okay. Because like, they were more ethical yeah. people. But then where do you draw the line? Like, do they serve their own drinks? Do they wait their own tables? Do they... No, cause, you know... Or maybe it's like a fun novelty when they go to the, the bar. Because mm. Guinan does serve the drinks. But yeah. she's not really serving the drinks. She's going to the thing and taking it out. That's like, true. It's a bit like if you went to like a vending machine and there was a like a <laughs> valet there. Like, <laughs> oh, what can I interest you in? And you're like, yeah, I'll have a cola. And they're like... <laughs> Here you go, it's, and you're like, I literally could have done that myself. It's a completely redundant job, isn't Why it? Why don't you just have one of those on every table? <laughs> yeah. And we just don't need you just anymore. Just cut out Biden. the middle, man. Uh, oh, shit, you're totally right. Hmm. But then also, you know, data needs to be refilled. That's true. Yeah, but you can replicate cum, surely. Yeah, probably. Also, why don't they just get a hologram to mm. clean the hollow deck? Shit. Yeah. Perfect. Although there is an episode where they literally have like holograms working in the mines. They set up some hollow emitters in like a mining at colony and they program hollow mine men. Is but, that unethical? Well, because they're not they're they're copies of their doctor. Right. So they're all these like old doctor men who don't know anything about mining and want to be doctors who are like why away. don't you just remove that bit of programming why don't yeah why program the sadness yeah <laughs> why do you program <laughs> the slaves who feel sadness <laughs> yeah. like that's the only bit that is unethical <laughs> yeah because the it'd be a, it's exactly mm. the same as if you had a pickaxe yeah. that you program to feel sadness <laughs> yeah because it's just a tool. I want at the end to of the be day. a hoe. I want it to be a hoe. Ow, it hurts every time. The end of the pick is actually my balls as you swing that thing. Why was I made this way? Why would you make me feel this? And you're like, yeah, I like the sadness. Uh, okay, right, sure. That that sounds like the deeper plot of these episodes. Mm. Okay, I think you've. <laughs> we're on to something here. We've got a script. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, so it turns out the answer to the question is DS9. <laughs> right, okay. Apparently all great. those things happen in DS9. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, what, what randomly important character does Worf kill? I don't remember that. I mean, the main character does terror attacks. So that's like all the Bajurans are constantly doing terror attacks because of the, you know, the occupation. Oh, they love a bit of terror. Yeah. Those Bajorans. Freedom. They're not terrorists, they're freedom fighters. Very <laughs> true. Uh, Gowron. Does Wolf kill Gowron with the eyes? What the hell? Spoilers. How could you do that to such a beautiful eye face? Jeez. I love, love Gowron. Well, thank you, Mega Harold. Mega Harold. <laughs> Uh, Jaraz, thank you for donating. They say, Tom and Ben, is Endless Dungeon a game we may see you two playing when it comes out? Would love to see it. Endless Dungeon is out. That's uh, a game that exists. Yeah, I feel like that was a game I played. It was in the Jingle Jam. Peggy 12. Is it Th oh, this is the new one, Endless Dungeon. Because it was Dungeon of the Endless. Right, that was that's what I'm Earth. thinking of. And it's by the same people. So okay. very confusing name. Lewis and I did a stream or a video, I forget, of this. Um, I guess it was like an early build. It was all right. It was like um, like a twin stick shooter. But like those. co-op and class-based. And you had to do a tiny bit of like resource management. Does it still have the weird... Civ mechanics. There's the, yeah. like, the four X. Yeah. So you you get resources that you spend to build like turrets and generators. And yeah. Stuff. And when you open a room, a wave of enemies comes. So it's like a weird blend of resource management, tower defense, and bullet hell shooter. It's very unusual. It's very unusual. I'd always say for me, 
maybe a few too many mechanics. I don't think it's a good game to stream. Mm. It, you have to focus quite a lot on what Oh, you're doing. God. And you can't really chat shit. And we can as much. barely focus as it is. Hmm. It's certainly like way, way more graphics. Although the old one was like super cute uh, pixel graphics. Yeah, yeah, it had a real nice art style. And like really, really liked the old pixel. This pixel is like work. a full, full 3D thing. I think like it would work better for YouTube than for Twitch. Yeah, like. Because you've got all these different abilities on cooldown that you've got to keep using because it gets quite hard. Oh, God, it gets, it's got a bit of the sort of like ARPG sort of. It's busy. It is busy. Oh, you've got to protect Spider Bot. Beep He's boop. carrying the crystal around. I'd forgotten Love about it. that. So you'd like make him a clear path and like not let the baddies get to him because he's, oh. he's scared. He's scared. Uh, yeah, it's, I do really like the art style on this. Yeah, it's so pretty. Very different games, really. Similar, but quite different. Mm. Amplitude do some good games, man. I haven't played much Humankind, but I really liked um, Endless Legend. Mm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, well, this might be a good time for us to be wrapping it up. Mm. Um, so, thank you so much to everyone who has joined us today. Yeah. Been very cool, very uh, very nice. Hope you enjoyed uh, the talk on P -p poop and poop and cum. Well, there was a bit of that, but mm -hmm. I feel like chat brought it up more than we did. Yeah, with their weird poop ghosts, poop ghosts, and cum tanks, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we will be back same time next week playing something else. Something. I'll try out that um, in the gash mod. <clears throat> yeah. See, see how it looks. Uh, it's off now. Um, I'm back tomorrow. Harry and I, we haven't streamed uh, RimWorld for a couple of weeks, but we're back tomorrow at 2. Well, well, well. And then later at 7, I'm going to be back doing my Xenonauts. Xenonauts! On my channel. It's basically XCOM. That thing everyone was asking about earlier. Yeah. You can see Ben playing it tomorrow. <gasps> Yay! Uh, also, if you want to see, if you're like, oh, God, they're going. I want more Tom and Ben. Mm. Uh, today is a video going out on my channel of Tom and Ben playing Mechabellum against each other. If you want to see some versus Mechabellum. Tom V. Ben, who over, is the best? Go over to TomStreams.com. I don't think that no. exists. Angory Tom on YouTube. Is how you can find it. That's the one. Uh, and... Look, I don't lose against every guest. I had Lollip on and beat her. Did Lydia beat you? No, we had we had to play co-op together <laughs> <laughs> because Lydia didn't even know how to buy units. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe we won't uh, we won't won't go versus because I don't think that's going to be a super satisfying video. Fair, good As choice, I think. Either you'll just get the the two ends of that comment spectrum will just be, oh my god, you're such a fucking tryhard beating <laughs> up a noob. What a loser! Or oh, I can't believe you're not brilliant at the game. He's not even trying. <laughs> what a fucking loser! <laughs> yeah, that's a lose in, lose. In some videos, you get both of those comments at once. <laughs> and it's like, <sighs> thank you, thank you, friends. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, go and check out the that vid if you want to see it. Um, Macabellum. Tom V. Ben. Tom's channel. Macabellum. And my stream tomorrow. Nice. Loads of Tom and Ben for everyone. Hooray! Huzzah. Um, it's always fun when you can see the moment Top stops trying to win and throws for content. That never happens. I'm always tryharding. I don't give a shit about the content. <laughs> right, we got to get out. Get out of here.
Uh, right, let's do it. Press the bouton. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Uh, Ben's streaming up seven. Seven. UK time. GMT. Uh, BST. BST. Is that all the same? No. GMT is the winter time.